and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. Oh my gosh, so many problems tonight, but we've got them all figured out. Uh, Rand Musiel Ran is already saying code. Mom, I can't find the stream button. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so the uh, for you guys probably already know. You guys have probably, uh, you're probably from the Discord. You're probably waiting for this to start up. Um, I sat there trying to figure out why won't it let me stream. Uh, so I went to the phone to start the stream up, and the stream button is gone. I can't figure it out. So, you know, from the same phone, I swap over to my other account, the Game Economist. Stream button is fine. It's where it used to be. And I just, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, did they did they disable my account? Did they disable streaming? I, I thought maybe because I hit 10,000 uh, subscribers, maybe they're doing a quick review of my account because YouTube does that kind of stuff, right? They do reviews. So I, th I thought maybe they're just blocking the account while they review it. Uh, and then finally, my wife notices. I didn't even notice. It was actually, it was actually my wife, my wife. And uh, there's a button. There's a new button on the app at the bottom of the app rather than in the, in the upper right-hand corner. And this is what allows you to stream now. Now, this is what was screwing me up. The the other account, the Game Economist, the old button is where it used to be. The new account is at the bottom. So it's like when you swap between them, you, uh, you will think that there's just some problem. Boomer. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So it took us forever to figure that out. Yeah, uh, that took like 30 minutes to figure that out. But that's not the only problem we ran into. I received an email from Streamlabs, and they said, Hello, Mr. TCC, uh, please kindly stop doing uh, transactions with Streamlabs. So Streamlabs uh, talked to me, and they sent an email that they want the Streamlabs to only be used for donations. Uh, and so tonight is going to be a really weird night because we're only doing PayPal, and the way you order cards has changed. We're not going to have... Well, the sound effects are still there if you want to make a donation using Streamlabs. So the Streamlabs link is still there. And uh, however, the way you order cards is totally different now. Uh, we have a temporary system. What, I, what I'm going to be doing in my off time is trying to find out what's the best way to order cards live. Because what we had with Streamlabs was pretty cool. Uh, but again, Streamlabs said, hey, we only want to be used for donations. And I guess that's how they're set up. Maybe it's like a legal thing. I don't know. Maybe they have like liability issues. I have no clue. Anyways, they want to only be used for donations. And that's fine. That's what we'll do. Uh, we will have to find a new way to order cards live. In the description, you will see there is now a PayPal link. Okay, and you click on that and you can send the amount you want to send over to order cards. Just like you would have with Streamlabs. Now I have to verify who you are on PayPal. So we have a new channel in the Discord, right? We do everything everything through Discord. All the communication is done over there. He says, oh, Streamlabs is dead. Yeah, we're not using Streamlabs for orders anymore. You can do donations. So feel free to send like a dollar donation with a funny message. But uh, you can't do card orders through Streamlabs. They asked me to stop, and I'm going to stop. Um, you have to use PayPal now. And we will probably be adding other services other than just PayPal. So you will make your order through the PayPal link now, just the PayPal for now. It, it was really a surprise. It kind of just popped up when I woke up. I only slept for like two hours. So the, yeah, it, it does kind of suck. It's a little bit of an oof. We'll have to adjust to it, but that's okay. Uh, it's really not too bad anyways. Uh, I, I actually need a new way. This is something my wife and I have been discussing for a little while because I need a way to do some accounting and Streamlabs kind of takes that away from me a little bit. Streamlabs is not a good way to do accounting. The funny thing is PayPal is a much better way to do all the accounting. But when we do Streamlabs, it gets really complicated because of the credit card transactions. So we were relying on, on Streamlabs to send us almost like uh, information for uh, accounting anyways. So doing strictly PayPal will make things easier for a little while. But yeah, it, it sounds like uh, this change was very sudden and... We will have to find a new way to do things. So let me just, uh, let me again, I'm going to walk you guys through how this works now, okay? Because you guys are probably wondering. He says, we used to invoice with PayPal, but now we have a store set up on our website. Yeah, we might do something like that. Uh, you know, I have the domain names for the Card Economist, and we might have a simple website with a simple checkout system. Whatever we do, uh, it will have to be worked on as the days go by. Right now, we have a simple workaround, and it is a workaround. It does work. Let's talk a little bit about it. Okay, we're going to talk about it and find out how this works now. You ready? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the Game Economist Discord. You're probably pretty familiar with it. Oh, I'm sorry, Card Economist. 
Game Economist is my other Discord. Okay. We have a channel called The Waiting Line right here. Do you see that? See that? Yeah, we got The Waiting Line. You'll click on it. And this is where you order cards now. And uh, you can see it creates a line. K. Kirby, or K. 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 Curbs, I said that right. He wants a legendary heartbeat. Sudude wants number 17 in the small. Tenzerberg says two spots in the medium. So you type what you want here, send the payment, and what I will do is I will be clicking on your name. And you can see uh, this pops up. When I send any message through here, like a, like a, this right here, if I hit enter, it will send me to Tenzenberg's private message between he and I. So everyone has like a private message with me. And in your private messages, you simply verify what your PayPal address is. So I'll look you up in PayPal. I'll see what transactions have gone through. And so there's just a simple verification process and you can order cards like you normally would. The, the main differences are this. The main difference, uh, there's no sound effects now, that's sad, so there's no sound effect, and no credit card purchases. I know a lot of people actually liked to use credit card. Maybe it was about a quarter of all uh, transactions were occurring on credit. So we won't have that for now, for now. We'll figure that out in the, the future because this uh, really popped up on me tonight very quickly. So we have a little workaround. Uh, tonight will probably be slow as a result for people who now have to relearn how to order cards. And obviously people who are only using credit card are probably not going to be able to do much, especially because with the PayPal account, you have to open the account, you have to verify the account, right? So if you didn't have a PayPal, you're not able to use that. He says, what about Venmo? A lot of people keep saying Venmo. I do not have a Venmo. And the funny thing is Venmo is actually owned by PayPal. Brian says, good luck, misters. I got I to gotta be up early for work hunting for Canto Power Boxes. <laughs> Oof. How much for Burning Shadows? Oh, right. Uh, somebody sent this to me as a gift. I just have these two packs. I don't really know what to do for them. Two packs of Burning Shadows. So let's go ahead and jump over to that channel called The Waiting Line. That's what we're doing tonight now. The system is different now. You order on PayPal directly, and then you write me a message in The Waiting Line. And the last step is I verify who you are. Okay, three steps. So Tenzenberg, this would be fun. Actually, the oldest order is K, K, K Curbs, who says one round legendary heartbeat for K Curbs. All right, so let's see. I'm going to try this out now. K Curbs, this is definitely be slower. All right, I jump into the private messages. He did send me uh, an email address. I'm going to go ahead and open up my PayPal. I might be able to confirm the transaction very quickly if his uh, username is uh, easy to recognize. Let me go over to activity. No sound effects is probably what's sad though, because part of the fun was hearing all the transactions, you know, hearing people send that machine off over and over. There it is, Mr. Curvy. All right. Oh, you can actually leave a message in the PayPal itself. So I can actually read your, your transactions directly. I got it. Huh. Well, that makes me think maybe what we could do is just use everyone's real name and the extra step of verification might not even be necessary. Well, I tell you what, let's just keep doing it this way. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. There are some changes. Uh, for example, no more Streamlab names. So we have a whole table full of Streamlab names and we're going to have to start converting people over to, uh, you know, actually, I'd kind of like to use your real names. I think that's the best way. If it's all the same to you guys, because, it's you know, we don't need a, a, a aliases for opening cards. He says, ew, real names. He says, I like Tenzenberg. Okay. Well, I tell you what, we'll have to convert over to Discord names, but the problem with Discord names, people change their names. And, uh, you know, we were running into a problem in the past. Where, well, on the other hand, Discord names could be more unique. Yeah, we use Discord names. All right, that's what we're doing from now on. All right, so for Christopher Kirby. Also, I wonder if PayPal will sign me out frequently. Let's do a refresh. So we're doing this entirely new. It's being run only off of PayPal. Wow, the, the orders are coming in, though. I can say that. Vincent Poff says, 
Mister, sorry about all your problems. Congrats on hitting 10K. <laughs> no problem, Vincent. He says, can I get spot number 17 in the small, please? And thank you. Oh, man. So, wow, using your, using your PayPal name would actually make this very easy, believe it or not. It would be very, very little different from Streamlabs, except there's no, no noise. So he wanted what? In the small, huh? Right, we have a new small, by the way, guys. Let's show it off real fast. So we got this huge bulk box. That's a really large box of bulk, larger than anything I've ever shipped out before. This is the only USA, though. We had Pokekobe one one. It would cost like $50 to ship that. We got Rose, Pikachu, and Raichu are a prize. These three fossil cards are a prize, and these three fossil cards are a prize, and then Alolan Muck from Burning Shadows. That's a big that's a big deal. It's from Burning Shadows. It's a Burning Shadows 10. Okay, we already did that. Okay. So that's the small now. And we're doing the same strategy we did before, where we have a mix of already graded cards and cards that I will send off to grade for you. He says, Do we pay you, sir? Through your name on Pat's Oak, what it is already? What? <laughs> Pat's Oak? I don't know what you mean by that. Let's see. So Vincent... Oh, I accidentally said his name. Okay, so that's that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> so he needs to be put down on 17, but the question is, what name should we use? Yes, PayPal. PayPal. What name shall we use? Oh, it would be way faster to just use your pay PayPal name. Because if I have to verify every person, that will be much slower. The only sad part is, with real names, they can't be as fun. Let's see. So, I believe that Sudud. Let's see. Yes, it is. It is Sudud. Okay. So let's put down Sadud on 17. So there's that whole extra step. There's the whole extra step just to maintain this, really. Um, oh, man, it's tempting, guys. We might just go to regular names. But then again, you know, if we added like a... Let's say we added a credit card option. Yeah, I don't know. Just pull Rainbow Tapu. Oh, nice. He says, see my name. He says, bah, just use real name. Just use my name in every slot, says Travioli. <laughs> All right. Right, y'all in. Okay, Sadud on 17. So the stream's running. We just don't have any of those cool sound effects. Sadud, I'm going to go ahead and remove you from the list, too, by the way. So Sadud's done. K Curbs. All right, and K Curbs. All right. So here's another challenge, guys. If you already have a bag on the table, if you already have a bag on the table, I need to know what your your bag name is. Mister, I sent you a semi-important message on Discord, says John. Semi, semi-important or actually important? Let me know, okay? Because I'll go look it up if it's a very important one. Mister, I hate change. <laughs> How do we get a spot to get spotted? Uh, you have to order a spot, okay? Tell everyone to use their Discord name in the PayPal message. That is such a good idea. Okay, guys, that's 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 great. Okay, so he figured it out. So in your PayPal message, you must include your bag name or your Discord name, right? Got it. Okay, that's it. We don't even need the waiting line. Let me update the instructions and remove the waiting line channel. Let me update it, okay? So we're going to go to how to order cards. Hold on. I, is, we're learning. We're, we're going through uh, growing pains right now. <laughs> okay. So, here's the change. 
Your message can include a nickname, but you must use this consistently. Otherwise, I will default to your real name. Actually, let me let me reword that slightly. Your message can include a nickname. Use this every time. Or I will just use your real name. I wonder, maybe it would be... Uh, What's more valuable, to know their Discord name or to you, to know their uh, real name? Let me think about it. Let me think about it. So if I tell them to use their Discord name, is there a benefit to that? If I go through the PayPal, I suppose I can look up. Yeah, so it's not actually a very important... Yeah, you should just be able to choose what name you want. Okay. Read the description of prices, pick out what you want, send a payment payment on PayPal, write a message explaining the order. Your message can include a nickname. I'll say alternatively. Okay, read description and prices, send payment on PayPal, write a message explaining the order in PayPal. Your message can include a nickname. I'm going to say... All right, so we updated it. I like that, yeah. And I don't think we need this thing called the waiting line anymore. I think all I have to do is work my way down the uh, messages that are already in PayPal. So we don't need that because PayPal already puts everything into order. Cool. Sweet. So now we have Mr. Kirby here, huh? Oh, pre-orders on Streamlabs. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I'll go through those in a minute then. Yeah. Okay, we'll go through those. I, I didn't even think about that. Here we go. This is for Kirby. You ready, Kirby? Let's get things moving. I'm sure we will be able to catch up quickly because with the with the credit card transactions no longer going through, um, there will actually be probably like a quarter less orders tonight at least. Do I have Vivid Voltage? No. I've seen some people already posting vid videos of Vivid Voltage. They're not legally supposed to have that... that uh, content they're not supposed to be able to open those packs unless nintendo sent them like an early thing so i don't know how people are obtaining stuff like that early but uh they're they're breaking the the rules on the release date okay and another lugia do we still use streamlabs no so it's totally changed how things are done now now you go directly through paypal there's a link in paypal be sure to read there's been some changes be sure to read how it works now okay you'll have to in the Discord server, read that how to order cards uh, section, okay? Can I pay on what? Do not pay on YouTube. You cannot pay on YouTube. You like the robot lady? I liked the robot lady too. We'll miss... The, well, the, the robot lady is still here, but only for donations. So if you were to send me a dollar donation, you can still pop in and say hi or something like that, okay? Update stream title to read description for changes to pay. Yeah, I suppose we could do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to change the stream title too. You're right. It's a pretty pretty monumental change to the actual stream. Hold on.
So the new title is Channel Update, Changes on How We Order Cards. All right, that seems appropriate. So Kirby, the question I have at this point for you is, did you already have a bag and did you already, he says I have a bag. All right, so Kirby says he has a bag. Let's see what, if we can find it. K Dobbs, Luxury, Jarek, K's, KK, is K Kirby. Hey, mister, says it might be a slower night. Can you go through my bags? What? I can do that for five bazillion. Okay, here we go. K Curves. Place this right here. This is the K Derby. So glad you have Shining Legends. That's my favorite set. Oh, thanks. Let's go check the Streamlabs for those pre-orders now. Give me a minute. We'll get those done. Those are those will be the last transactions on Streamlabs that are transactions. <laughs> I mean, we'll still have donations from time to time. I suspect people will just send donations. I don't know how they'll do it, but you can always get the uh, robot lady to talk with the donation. Azur says, I still haven't gotten my pre-order for Champions Path ETB. Yeah, actually, uh, I had an order of the Champions Path ETB come in, and I officially have enough Champions Path ETB to stack from the floor to the ceiling and still have some left over on the floor. Like it came in it came in today and I was like, oh, I don't remember ordering these. I was like, oh, this was a missed order from a long time ago. You guys wanna see it? I can show you if you want. First of all, let me get this done though. Hold on, donation history. I'm trying on Streamlabs to get a price, but how much to get a spot? No, you can't use Streamlabs anymore, okay? We're not doing Streamlabs. All right, so it looks like there's been three orders, pre-orders. Ryan Fielstead is one. Let's go find Ryan. There's Supreme. You guys are sending me cards in the mail, and uh, they're sitting back here. Here it is, Ryan. So Ryan needs his pre-order. Sweet. I hope you're here, Ryan. Great cards. Let's take a look. Uh, so this card is slightly off center. It's thinner here. and uh, But it looks great. Probably a 10. Yep, this one looks like it has 10 potential. So obviously it's slightly thinner here, but definitely 10 potential. This is uh, definitely thinner here. Okay, so the Umbreon might be a 9. So these are all probably 10s. The Umbreon might be a 9. The uh, problem with the Umbreon is the front of the card is too off-center. Yeah, this version is kind of the same way, but it looks great on the back, at least. Yep, he's fine. Oh, you did a pretty good job, Ryan. You could have just, uh, you could have just sent me the, uh, you could have just sent me the amount to have them graded. So this card, if you look closely, you can see this corner is very thin. And then you look over here, and you can see the corner is very fat. And that's not true up here at the top of the card, even. So, like, up here is actually more reasonable. So this card is real off-center on the front, and it'll probably be a 9. What's up, J1VHD? So, I believe you're Mike Lamb, and you're saying, do you still have the cards I wanted to grade? Uh, unless you told me to ship them out. I probably do. Yeah, I probably do. Okay, and uh, Ryan's probably... Is it Ryan? Yeah, Ryan's probably wondering about grading these. Every single one of these will be in the $20 grade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven, okay? Okay, there we go. Yeah, strange night, guys. We're having some major changes to the live stream. We no longer use Streamlabs to make purchases live. Who else we got here? Oh, it's Mike Lamb right here. You, this is what you're talking about, Mike? What is this? Oops, move that out of the way. Are the prices going up because PayPal takes more? Nope, the prices are only going to go up if the market changes. PayPal takes the same it always takes. Streamlabs was uh, Streamlabs was just the PayPal fee, right? Draw Energy, Aether Paradise, Charizard, Cynthia, Valplume, Rose, Froakie, Froakie, Dreadnought, Charizard, Cynthia, Decidueye, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini. Uh, let's go ahead and count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you have 17 cards, and every card in here is a $20 grade, okay? Mike, let you know that. 17 cards, $20 each. 
Supremes back there. Anyone else? Here's the boot. Where'd the dice go, though? Here it is. There we go. Yeah, so strange. <laughs> it's going to be a strange night. So we took care of Ryan. The rod says one spot in the medium. Okay. That was a pre-order for the rod. So yeah, not having Streamlabs, man. It's going to be so weird. And GMAC attack. So GMAC wants to spot in the medium as well. Is the shipping process still the same? Shipping. Um, yeah, it should be. You just go to the Please Ship channel and tell me that you want to get shipped out. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the sh uh, no, it's not the same. Hold on. That's a great question. So how was I doing it before? So in, in PayPal, you'll tell me your name. I'll write it on your bag. And then you'll say, please ship. I'll right click on your name. This takes me to your address. So there might be one change to the to the uh, shipping process. You will need to verify that your cards are yours uh, by sending me the email address of the PayPal that you used, okay? So that will be the, um, I think that would be the only change. I'm not even sure if that's necessary. For a lot of you, I know who you are. Uh, it's typically for new people that I will need that. What's up, Christian? He says, no Streamlabs. What happened, mister? Well, Streamlabs sent me a, an email, and they said, hey, we noticed you're using this to uh, run a, basically a business. And they said, Streamlabs just supposed to be for donations. I said, oh, darn it. And so now we're doing this <laughs> through PayPal. Um, uh, they didn't explain why. I think, if I had to guess, there's probably some sort of legal liability for them to be having a, a sort of actually like a like a store running through their their software <laughs> that's my guess but uh, they weren't they weren't mean about it they didn't say like i was you know in trouble or anything like that they just said that the streamlabs you know it's meant to be used for donations so i was like all right how much for the two burning shadows wow people really want those two burning shadows um cease and desist mister yeah well it wasn't really worded like that it was just like you know it was like you know streamlabs is meant to be for donating i was like all right hold on Okay, so the Burning Shadows, I only have these two, and, uh, oh, man. It does suck not having the Robot Lady. I missed the Robot Lady. Tenzenberg says, take cards from my baggie for those two boosters. <laughs> I'll probably sell them, because uh, apparently everyone wants them. Mike says, those prices skyrocketed. What did? You could throw those B as in the small. That's true. Uh, but then I would need to add more spots to the small. Travioli says, where can I pre-order Vivid Voltage for the best price? Right here. I also had a Crimson and the $5 add-on pack. Oh, yes. Let's get that, Ginger. Let's get that, GMAC. Here you go. And the $5 add-on pack. Yep. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five. So I was just taking a moment to answer some questions. Things are a little disrupted tonight, but they'll probably return to a pretty good normal. Do you have more first edition heavy packs? First edition heavy packs. Tensenberg says, all right, be right back. I'll rewind the live when I come back. Sweet. Hey, so uh, what is the wait time? That's a good question. Uh, you know, I guess uh, there won't be an easy way to tell even. When should I pay for the shipping fees if I'm in Canada? At the time that you want to be shipped. So if you don't want to pay for it right now, you don't have to. Some people pay early. Some people pay late. Just let, leave me a note saying that you paid, and I'll write it down on your bag. I'll say shipping paid or something like that, okay? Okay, here we go. GMAC. One, two, three, four. You missed, my wa you missed the waifu? <laughs> you missing the streamlapse lady? I know. Mom, I can't use credit. I need PayPal. <laughs> Yeah. Well, my goal is to see if there's another method we could use rather than just PayPal, because I understand a lot of people, not a lot of people, but maybe like, again, maybe a quarter of transactions were just uh, credit card transactions. So it is something I'm going to have to look into on how we could get 
uh, credit card working. Do I ship to Australia? Yep, I've shipped a lot to Australia, actually. He says, it'll never be the ch never be the same. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be giving you these. Here you go. Don't worry, I'll put Quip on it. She'll fix it, guys. Ooh, no hits this time, GMAC. I'm sorry. How do I get some packs? You'll want to read the instructions in the description. Maybe we'll get a hot, hot card right here. Ooh, it is a white bag. Mister, are you still checking the waiting channel on Discord? Uh, I, I shouldn't have to, actually. I should just be able to read the PayPal. I should just be able to read the PayPal line, and that should do it. Well, I'll have Quip on standy to read out every message. <laughs> Quip's on standby. PayPal's been known to lock people's account for suspicious activity. Use an eBay store for credit card transactions. Oh, we could have an eBay store... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because eBay takes a ton, dude. eBay takes way too much. All right, GMAC, let's find your bag, shall we? Sorry, GMAC. GMAC, if it, if it was up to me, you would get the hot pull every time. I would send you the best cards every time if it was up to me. You got this lovely Volcarona. It's pretty good. Phoebe. <laughs> it's a great term. eBay P uh, e eBay P's. eBay Fees are insane, dude. They're really high. Day says no more Streamlabs. I know. You guys were fat. Well, go tell, go send an email to Streamlabs. Go tell them that you liked it, you know. Have you done my packs yet? Wow, you're already asking, huh? <laughs> no, I have not. Let's go ahead and jump up here. All right, so we have to log back into PayPal because PayPal automatically signs me out. The last thing we did was K, K Kirby, right? Let's jump over to Activity. The PayPal website is very slow. Okay. So I see who is next. I don't want to re read his name out loud. Let me go in here. We had Mike M next, right? Let's go ahead and check this out, Mike. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Did you actually say in the message in the waiting line? Hold on. Oh, I got you. Okay, Michael. So we're going to take care of Michael next. He wants two rounds of Cosmic. His message... I tell you guys what. We don't have the robot lady, but I can read your messages out loud for you. Michael says, two rounds of Cosmic, two rounds of Darkness. I have a bag. I have a bag. I have a bag. I'm a chair. You still have the Streamlabs link in your description. Yeah, that's because if you want to send a donation, you actually can still send that through Streamlabs. So if you need my attention really badly, you can send a, a simple dollar transaction, and this will activate the uh, talking robot lady. Two rounds of darkness. So if you're getting, if you're trying to get my attention, you can do that for a dollar. Somebody sent me a five dollar message. I had a box. Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> my bad. I'll just give you all these. Do you have a box? Oh, yeah, I think you do. He says, I have a PayPal, but no money in it. <laughs> I like your icon, by the way, the, uh, the Shining Mew. That's very cool. Let's get these Darkness Ablaze. So don't worry guys, we're figuring it out. Right now PayPal's still gonna work for this. Maybe I'll have a sound effect board. Like uh maybe like a bell or something when it's the next person's turn to get your attention, you know. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it was fun hearing the lady go off. How much is one round of Darkness Ablaze? Uh, it's full free. What else did you want? I think that's it. All right. That's Mike M. 2020 sucks, says Alex. <laughs> you need a kazoo? <laughs> don't they have notification for subs? I don't ever have PayPal. Oh, no. I'm sorry, mister. 
Mister, is there a rare in the energy pile? What? Oh, because of the way I opened it? Let me check. I don't know. Did I open it wrong? Oh my god, he's right. And it was a hollow rare. Oh, I threw it in the trash. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The level of distraction is very high right now. Oh, nice call, mister. You saw me you you saw me move four cards and you knew it was supposed to be three cards. Nice call. Nice call. You know when we first started opening evolutions, I didn't know about that and I I didn't ever say this, but I think I threw out a bunch of cards that were supposed to be hit cards that uh, I thought were energy cards. This was at the very, very, very beginning. We had some, I didn't have boxes of evolution. I had like these sets and they, they would have like a booster pack from a variety of different sets. And one of the sets that it would have a, a pack from was evolutions. And so I'd have like one pack of evolutions to open. I didn't know about the three card thing. I thought it was four. And I was tossing it to the side every time, like a like a uh, energy card, and nobody was telling me, and I was just throwing those away. I could have actually thrown a Charizard away. Is my point? Is your Streamlabs sound on? If not, fail me. What? Oh, the computer was completely muted as well. My bad. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Everything that can go wrong wrong is going wrong. All right, somebody did send a dollar. Uh, here, let me, uh, it's Hyperpulse. He said, one PP touch. So if I can get it working. There it goes. One PP touch. There you go. <laughs> there you go, all better. Now let's get these open. This is for my cam, right? <laughs> oh, man. My battery is very low. Oh, my laptop's so bad now, guys. If the battery comes out even slightly, it uh, warns me that the laptop's gonna shut down. I just bought Tag Team. Oh, nice. Here we go. That one's for the boys. <laughs> Here we go. Wasn't that a wild stream yesterday? That was a wild stream. Mister, are those packs vintage or reprints? These are vintage. One tube with the white stuff. All right, sending it right over. So I'll get Mr. a new laptop. Mr. I miss her voice already, says Alan Finnamore. <laughs> How do I claim the medium I won, says President Agnew. Oh, you're right there. Uh, you just tell me what you want. So we have a variety of things. Eight packs of Champion's Path. Six packs of Hidden Fates. Um, Champion's Path, Hidden Fates. Shining Legends is back. You can do, uh, how many is it? You could do eight packs of Shining Legends. You could do a box of Burning Shadows, a box of Steam Siege, box of Rebel Clash, box of Sword and Shield base set. So you have a variety of boxes to choose from. You can also do a box of Legendary Heartbeat, by the way. That's the set with the amazing rares in it. Ooh, we got Staravia, huh? That's the card you really want. He says, I'm actually going to cry in the shower. <laughs> Yeah, you can still, like I said, you can still send a dollar donation with a funny message on it or just to say hi. Uh, but you know what? It is kind of bizarre that we were operating this whole thing out of Streamlabs. So when I got the email, I was kind of like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> uh, to put it bluntly, the scale of what we're doing is pretty huge. And I'm surprised that they didn't notice sooner, if anything. So... We, what we're doing is pretty large because we do this for like five hours a day every day. Non-stop transactions. You know, do a little math there. All right. Last pack from the Darkness of Blaze is a greenback. You got Butterfree and Mew. What if I pay 200 to Streamlabs to have store credit? No, that's, I'm sure that's still a, uh, I'm sure that's still considered a transaction. Okay, so we can't do that anymore. Yeah, there's probably some legal thing for them on their side or some tax thing. I don't know. I, I have no clue. Jimmy says, how much for an Evo box? Uh, you can see the price of my Evo packs in the description and do a little math equation. You should basically have been able to buy at least five new laptops. <laughs> 
you know how I am. Uh, same same sandals for like 20 years, same laptop for 20 years. Mister, you think someone snitched? No, no, not at all, not at all. Uh, again, what we're doing over here is pretty massive in volume. The number of transactions we do in a single night, just like hundreds of transactions, not hundreds, but like maybe, maybe, oh, you know, maybe like 75 transactions a night. And those transactions can be pretty large. So, and that adds up pretty fast. So I'm not surprised at all that they noticed. I just didn't know that they didn't want me to do that. That's all. And uh, they just said, you know, this is supposed to be for donations. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> you got it. But yeah, somebody pointed out maybe it's taxes, maybe it's legal liability. I don't know. And uh, when they said it, I was like, all right, fair enough. And that's because they never really advertised themselves as like a payment gateway. PayPal does. PayPal is a payment gateway. But uh, Streamlabs has always advertised themselves as a donation platform. And we just kind of happened to start using them to do this. It just kind of happened sort of organically, you know. It wasn't, there wasn't like some complex decision making going on. But we started using them organically to do this. And uh, they probably finally noticed and said, wait a second, we don't do that. Or maybe they're discussing if they do it. Maybe they've never considered it. I sent them an email. I said, you guys should consider letting me continue to use Streamlabs because it's Fortnite Focus's fault. That's right. Pokestan is a charity. This is a charity. You guys are sending donations because you like me. And then I donate some cards back to you. That's what's really happening. Did you get my two spots on the medium, says Tenzenberg? Uh, I don't think yet. Uh, there's, it's been very slow right at the start because we are we got those uh, pre-orders done now. And now I'm back to working on the, the actual PayPal line. So don't worry, though. I know you're there and we'll get it taken care of. Have you tried Stream Elements? You kind of like weed and gifting. <laughs> kind of like weed. <laughs> I didn't sell it to him. I that's a gift. No, officer, it's a gift. <laughs> okay. So this was for. Give me, give me a second. This one goes out to all my Mike boys M. and Goyles in the chat. Goyles. You want to hear my sexy voice? Am I right? Um, baby, I miss you. <laughs> Toss this up here. Okay, Tenzenberg. Oh, so what happened, Tenzenberg, is even though you're, even though on the waiting list you're before Mike, on PayPal you're not. That's so weird. All right, but let's see. What is your, what is your PayPal? Gotcha. Okay, and let's see if we can find that. Okay, I found you. Let's get you in here, Tenzenberg. Oh, the medium. The medium. Oh, it looks like I might have done it. Maybe. it Was this from last night? Maybe that's from last night. I don't remember. Let's give you all three spots. Problem solved. All right, Tenzenberg. One, two, and this might have been from yesterday. All right, perfect. So that's taken care of. Okay, scrolling back to that waiting line. Who else got on here? Speedy Boogers. Four hidden fates. I need a bag. So I'm trying to remember. Let me let me go ahead and make the uh, waiting line private now. I don't want you guys to be able to see that because I don't want you guys to form a huge line over there. Four hidden fates. Says Speedy Boogers. Okay, it looks like everyone's sending me messages on PayPal. So I should just be able to do it from over here now. Uh, I'm guessing that's Jason, if I had to guess. Let me see. He hadn't sent me a message on PayPal. Yes. Speedy boogers. You ready, mister? Four hibs. Let's go get a tin of hibs. It looks like I just got the one tin over there, so I'm going to go get another box out of the room. I'll be right back. Oh, I told you guys I'd show you the room. You guys want to see the room real fast? I want to show you something. You guys are going to find this comical. Look at that kid. Hey, she's so cute. I think Quip just closed the door. All right, let's bust in and say hi to Quip. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Oh, man. It goes all the way to the ceiling. What the? What the? Look at that. And that's another box down there. 
Holy. That's a lot of, uh, and here's some, uh, some hibs. There's some laundry. <laughs> Look at Kitty. She's so comfortable. She's not in her cat box, but she's still pretty close, right? She always hangs out. She's not in her cat box. She found out that the couch is more comfortable. My tiny little home. That's the whole home, basically. You guys just saw the whole thing. It's like one room. One room goes to the cats. That's it. Do a whole box of CP for a large. Yeah, we could do that. If you guys want to do that, we can do that in the future. Now let's get this tin. It's cozy, that's right. Cozy and there's no room. Stuff everywhere. Yeah, I know. Hey, mister, can I get the Shining Legends for my medium? Also, I've been the chat for Streamlabs. It was a good run. It was a good run, Streamlabs. It's not going anywhere. Streamlabs is here, but it's just for donations. I get a donation every now and then. Oops, PayPal asking me if I want to stay logged in. Yes, I do. Mister, would I be wrong to ask you for the promo card? Yeah, that's fine. Here. Uh, yes, of course you would be wrong to ask me for the promo card. Mother. Here you go. Okay, speedy boogers. Oops. So, by the way, guys, we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers is the next goal. And when we hit that goal, I'll give away a whole box of first edition rocket. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bankrupt me. <laughs> Now, I need that. I need that. I need that rocket box to pay my taxes one day. <laughs> Here we go. What do we got? Yes, now it's just... Ooh, look at that full art Altari on the first pack, mister. Happy Halloween, Jijo. Is Jiju? I'm sorry. It's kind of a strange name. Gyarados, Altaria. You ordered two boxes of Hibs. Nice. Streamlabs doesn't want people using it. As a marketplace, so you have to use PayPal now. Yeah, he, the, the, basically the email just said, in short, pay, uh, Streamlabs is for donations, not for business. And they're like, we noticed you were doing business. Could you stop? <laughs> I was like, all right. Could you do us a favor and stop? Yeah, what was interesting, it wasn't like an auto reply. It was obviously, it was obviously an email from like a human. And uh, they were polite. They were polite. Mr. TCC, I go now. I go fight now, sir. Are you okay with the name Borat? Wow, wow, we will. <laughs> you should start opening booster boxes to go live. Yeah, I've always done it this way, though. I've always done it where you can get five at a time. I think that makes it more accessible to people. I try to make it the cost of, like, I don't know, like a pizza, right? You order, like, a $20 pizza. You can order 20 bucks of cards, uh, and that's it. So not bad on the polls. You got Rowla, Altaria, Gyarados, and the Raichu. Ooh. I'm naming my kid Pokestan. You bought another one ounce silver coin. Nice. So, this was for Speedy Boogers. Let's go find his bag. Speedy, are you up top? I feel like he would have been up top. Any Halloween treats for the kids? Nah, there's no kids where I live. It's all old ladies. There's zero little kids where I live. They're all old ladies. This is like a retirement center, basically. It's actually kind of sucky. I got here. What changed? We're not using Streamlabs anymore. We just use PayPal directly, okay? That's the new thing. That's the new thing. Need a new bag. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> goose hunt. Going on that goose hunt. He says, so no more text to speech? No more text to speech. I could maybe I could copy your guys' message and put it into the Streamlabs, but that would kind of waste time. Did you guys see that little Wayne came out for Trump today? I did not. Wow, that adds him to who is it? Uh 50 Cent, Kanye West, Takashi69, and Lil Wayne. 
I don't want to be 20 cent. What? <laughs> It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't want to be 20 cent. Speedy Boogers. So from now on, Speedy Boogers, you got to tell me that your bag name is Speedy Boogers or else I have to use your real name. Okay, that's the challenge for using PayPal. If we're going to use PayPal, you have to tell me each time what your bag name is or I'm going to end up using your real name. Have you ordered Yugi's yet? You Yugi's! I'm sorry, I've not ordered UK Yugi's. <laughs> I have not ordered Yugi's. <laughs> okay, next up. We have a guy who didn't give me uh, a nickname. Let me see if he's in the, the wait list. You got to communicate real well through PayPal now, okay, guys? If I had to guess, this is going to be Mars Bars. Is that right? Yes. So from now on, if you want Mars Bars on your bag, when you message me on PayPal, you got to be careful to say, I have a bag. My name is Mars Bars. TCC, you need to check with PayPal and be careful as PayPal has to be a business account with all the transactions going through. No, that's not true, actually. He says, I know this as it happened to me on my lives. Really interesting. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, they've, they've offered me in the past to be a business account, and they've never shut me down ever. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll talk to them about it, and uh, maybe I will just upgrade to the. It, they call it an upgrade, the business account. So maybe I'll just go ahead and do that upgrade now. Mister, you forgot about Ice Cube. Yeah, I'll talk to them about it. I don't think they'll shut me down tonight, though. <laughs> I've been doing this for over a year with them, and almost all the transactions come through PayPal, anyways. So Andrew. Oh, Mars bars, I mean, should I say. Mars bars. Three in the small. Oh, we got a new member. Thanks for joining, Shaborn Anthony. Kiss me. <laughs> okay, toss it over there. Okay, after, after Mars bars... That's confusing. We have Garrett Partridge. Back name, It's Bird. Okay, It's Bird is next. Three rounds of Shining Legends. That's right, Shining Legends has returned. I have a fair amount of it, but last time I thought I had a fair amount of it, and you guys knocked it out like it was easy. Oh, yeah, I heard about France. They had, a, they had another beheading in France. They had another beheading... That's a first world country. Man, it's supposed to be anyways. Maybe it doesn't feel that way anymore. Sneep. Sneep. Here we go. Mars bars is exposed. I, I apologize if I accidentally say your your name here. <laughs> he says FML. Bring out the guillotine, says Music Noah. My little brother found his cards today and brought them over, and he had an unlimited base at Charizard about a six and first edition Suicune, he was thrilled, the value of them. Yeah, he's going to make a little money on that, huh? Okay, here we go. Now, that's where I sure I'm scrafty. Pack number two. It's Bird, huh? So you're going to have to say, if you want to maintain that, that bag name, you're going to have to tell me each time your bag name, or else we're going to switch over to first names, okay? Isn't that just a murder? Uh, it's a particular brutal kind of murder where you saw through a person's head like a savage. So that's why we use the term beheading. Yeah, I mean, being shot in the back of the head with like a, a shotgun is also a murder, but it's pretty painless. You guys ever seen a... I don't know if you guys have ever seen a beheading. It's pretty terrible. Okay, wow, those were all three of them cold. Can I keep the Latios? You absolutely can. Let's get you all of the uh, hollows. That you uh, would have gotten out of the pack real fast. I like to do that when the packs are cold. I like to get you the hollows. He says, it's nuts. Not advisable to watch. I disagree. I think everyone should watch so that they're informed. That's one of the things we don't allow in modern society. You're not allowed to see reality. They don't allow you to see reality. You should, you should be required to see reality. That's how I feel. Because it makes you smart. Even if it's gruesome, it makes you smart. Helps you understand the world. 
Here he goes. With the loogies. Hey, mister, what's the best way for us collectors to get some cards? Um, you would just need to go dancing on the streets, man. A pokey stand. He says, why did it happen? Uh, in France, the French government said we stand for freedom of speech. And if somebody wants to draw a picture of Muhammad, they're allowed to do that. And then right after they said that, there was a beheading of a teacher. And now it's like maybe two or three weeks later. I don't know how long it's been. Maybe it's been like one week. And a second beheading in a Catholic basilica. So uh, actually three people died and one person was beheaded. Dustin Jones. What's up, Dustin Jones? Look at that. I don't even have to look you up. You got the same name. I love it. He says, one medium, too large. I scoped your face reveal because the guy was making such a fuss. Yep, I was way off. Thought you were a fat Asian guy. <laughs> one medium, too large. Dustin Jones. Dustin Justin? <laughs> I think my brain's distracted. <laughs> Jones. There we go. One in the medium and two in the large, huh? And that finishes the large. This is such a weird way to run the channel. My brain's like having to, to adjust to it too. Wait, mister, isn't a fat Asian guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, oh, fifteen. There we go. Does PayPal take more from the amount donation for the account? Uh, PayPal does not take more. So I'm, I'm paying the same transaction fee I've always had to pay. Uh, you know, I've thought about doing transactions in the future where you do the friends and family option and you order like a whopping like $1,000 pre-order card, but you get 3% uh, back because that would be the normal transaction fee. What's 3% of 1,000? Isn't that like... Let's see. Yeah, that's 30 bucks. So you keep 30 bucks, but, you know, I don't know. Friends and family is pure tax evasion. No, I, I, wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be filing it as a sort of, uh, oh, this wasn't a transaction. It's, it's more like a fee evasion. But, uh, you know, another way you guys could send uh, maybe like a cashier's check, but there's actually a fee for making a cashier's check. So PayPal is simpler, safer. I think it's a little bit better. You added the PayPal fee in my purchase. Oh, that's so nice, mister. All right, let me recount these. Why don't you move operations to the spare room, says Ryan. Uh, that's a great question. The cat litter is in the spare room, so I don't tend to go in there for much except for storing huge boxes of Pokemans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, let's get the chase. Here's the chase card, the custom chase card. Move the cat litter, bro. I don't know where. We'll move it into the bedroom so the kitty doesn't take a stinky while we're sleeping. What do you think? Open the packs, man. <laughs> there's Unified Minds. Uh, there's Unified Minds uh, available again. Yeah, Unified Minds are back. Leonhardt got the new Pokemon booster box. What? I want the new Pokemon booster box. Hey, mister, you got Vivid Voltage already? Landing on 16. Ouch. That hurt. One, two. Mister is too far to the left. Is that what he said? Can we, uh, actually, he might be right. Can we fix that? Uh, we were doing 16, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. The camera's too far left. Well, this line is the center of the table, but this image is, oh yeah, it's still too far left. I mean, I can tilt it like this, but then the camera's actually tilted. Maybe to you guys, it doesn't look that way though. How does that, is that better? Do you have team up yet? No, I'm afraid not. Here we go, Clayton on one. I'm a perp. Snow Walrus. Slim Jim. Purebred Kawaiian. God King Lunar. God King Lunar. Mahasvara. Masvara. Oh, I felt it. I felt it in the, the pack. I could feel it was heavier. I was like, that's the heavy one, isn't it? Congratulations to Mahasvara. Wow, that was pretty lucky, man. You haven't played that in a while. Mister is far left? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what? Sweet. And let's... Ooh. 
You know, I bought some tape, but I think I'm going to stick to doing tape the way we've been doing it. I get a little, I get a slice of tape and I put it on the side of the table. How do I get packs? What's up, cool bro? We do payments through PayPal. There's some instructions. You'll want to read those instructions. But you got to check the description for them, okay? He won PSA 10 Gold Frost Moth. Oh, 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 oh. Why did I think that this was the medium? I'm fully distracted tonight. My bad, guys. He won the Golden Frost Moth. Fully distracted. Here we are. Ooh, beautiful. President Agnew says, can I go ahead and open my medium as Shining Legends? So, oh, yeah, we can do that. Let's go ahead and write Maj Vars name down. We'll get President Agnew next, guys. Wow, look at that. Mahavara, you're going to be pokey rich. Mahasvara's PSA return will probably be the next one to actually arrive here, and it is loaded with cards. He's been waiting months for them to come back. So he will get that back, and he's going to have a lot of PSA cards. Who knows? Maybe he will ask me to sell a few. I can sell some. If he, there's some he was only intending to sell, I can sell them for him for a commission. Let's see. PayPal's like, all done? I am not all done. What we need now is, is to start a new large, right? Let's start a new large. Shiny Obstagoon gold card from Vivid Voltage looks very nice. That's right. So I have very limited options here. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Yep. So for those of you who are fans of Shining Legends, this is the Hyper Entei from Shining Legends. He looks pretty fancy. He's got those waves in the background. Uh, he's a PSA 10. Let's go ahead and find out how much he's going for. Let's go check the Ebays. Shining Legends Entei PSA 10. He says, cool, ignore me, haha. -ha. Oh, sorry, there's just a lot going on. There's just a lot going on. So it appears that there are no Shining Legend Hyper Pools. Let's see what the last one went for. The last one went for 200. Interesting, okay. So I guess what we'll do is 250 then. We're gonna do 250. 250 and we'll do it in uh, maybe $10 increments. I don't wanna do 25. Can 250 div be divided by 15 evenly? Let's see. No, unfortunately. Well, we could do 17 spots, though. All right, we're going to have 17 spots. Each spot's going to be $15. Hey, mister, I don't see the waiting list channel. Am I missing it? There is no waiting list channel. Um, oh, did I leave that in the instructions somewhere? Give me a second. Yeah, there should be no waiting list channel, actually. Oh, you know what it is? I left it in the announcements, didn't I? Hold on. Hold on, let me delete that. So we're not going to need the, uh, we aren't going to need the waiting list channel. That's the deal. Sorry for the confusion, okay? We're, we're changing things a bit, right? You're not going to need it because PayPal itself creates a sort of list for me to work through. So as if all transactions are coming through PayPal, I will just work the PayPal list. So it says how to order cards. Uh, it sends you to Discord. Discord, how to order cards. Read the description, send a payment, write a message explaining the order. Let me know if you already have a bag box. Your message can include a nickname. Use this every time. Alternatively, I will just use your real name. All right, so we're not using the waiting channel. We're going to use strictly PayPal. And as long as you guys are writing an informative message, I will never need to use, uh, I won't need to use a waiting list because we already have one right here. He says, I, I was way off. I thought you were a fat Asian guy. Oh, no. <laughs> While I have the laptop on my lap, let me go ahead and update the large. PSA 10, Shining, Legends, Entei. Uh, see, I'm missing the lady right now because in the past, you know what would happen? 
after updating the large, you will hear a series of, you know, sound effects go off from all the people jumping into the large, right? There would be a bunch of people jumping into the large. And uh, that was always really cool. It was exciting, actually, to hear it go off over and over again. And without that sound effect, it's just not as fun. That's too bad. Maybe we'll find something in the future, though, okay? I'll keep an eye out for it, guys. There's another Mars Bars. Hey, mister, what do you think about the election? It's getting close. Woohoo! It's almost over. And then we can return to normal lives. Normal, boring lives. Honestly, the election is, you know, it gives us something fun to do. It gives us some drama to talk about. Can you guys imagine, let's say Donald Trump loses. Can you guys imagine how boring politics will suddenly be? What if Donald Trump wins and then in four years, you know, he's out of there. He's such a drama queen. He's such a showboat. Politics will go back to being normal and boring, and everyone will be like, "Ah, oh, now I'm gonna have to, now I'm gonna have to watch Pokemon cards." Mister, if Biden wins, <laughs> will you shave your head? If Biden wins, I will be back here opening Pokemon cards every night because that's all I do is open Pokemon cards. You have beautiful handwriting, so smooth. You want to see my real handwriting? Some of you guys have never seen my real handwriting. I'm supposed to be opening cards. Let's see, I haven't done done my normal handwriting in a while. Hmm. Here's a sentence. I thought you were a fat guy, right? I thought you were a fat Asian guy. I thought you were a fat Asian guy. So that's what my handwriting would normally look like. You just see my, uh, you see my quick, regular, non-cursive handwriting. I just opened my 10th Champions ETV and finally pulled the shiny boys. What? You did it! Okay. We've updated the large. We're... I believe we're done with Dustin Jones. Next up, we have Da Gimp. What's up, Da Gimp? He says, one small, two darkness. Da Gimp. Now show Quip's handwriting. <laughs> one small, two darkness ablaze. You got it, mister. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Chris, it's good if you want your handwriting to look good. I'll be right back. Let me go eat something. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't want to have a... Uh, I need to take a bite of something. I'll be right back. Guys, you should see Kitty. She's, like, so comfortable. I think she's way too comfortable, actually. Yeah, the chair's really squeaky. Look at her. She's got these little... She's like, go ahead and pet me now. <laughs> oh, right, President Agnew, huh? He says, TCC, I'm a f Asian, I'm offended. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't say Asians were fat, and it wasn't even my message. What are you talking about? <laughs> Show us your signature. You guys have seen my signature before. Too far to the left. Oops. Mister, it's far left. Okay. 
that one is a bad cat. You got to throw it out. <laughs> All right. So I, I'm. You're right. I forgot. We have President Agnew here. <laughs> Can't you just go back to opening cards without washing your hands? Why can't you put it in the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're opening these up for President Agnew in exchange for his medium chase card. Ooh, look at these. He's excited. You ready? So we're going to get you the Rayquaza, right? They're Shining Mew, Mewtube, and Rayquaza, and those are the ones that I think are best. There's also the Secret Rare Mewtwo. He's pretty good. Mewtube, Hyper Mew, Mewtwo, Shining Mew, and Shining Rayquaza. All of those are real good. Actually, I don't think I have the Shining Mew. I'm going to forge your signature and steal all the Pokemans. You wish. What time is it for me? Time to get a watch. What's your sleeping schedule looking like? Really terrible. I, um, I think I only got like one to two hours today. I just couldn't go to sleep because I was I was so busy getting stuff done. And then I finally lay down and I'm, I'm like, oh, man, I got to get up in like two hours. We've got, oh, Verizian. Oops. Ooh, three, four. Croconaw. Four packs left already. Jesus. Three, four. Ante GX. I think that counts as a hit. I think that's how the uh, RNG in this set works. I have your signed PSA, Lieutenant Sergius Magneton. Oh, nice, man. Do I put you as a friend on PayPal? Uh, I suppose you could, but I'm a little concerned about PayPal not liking that. <laughs> PayPal be like, hmm, are they really friends, though? We got Spiritomb Hoopa. We're, we're definitely friends, Russ. But PayPal will be like, nah, you got to pay the full price. Wow, those were cold, mister. Cold as ice. Whew. It's a risk. When you open those Shining Legends, it is always a risk. Sorry about that, President Agnew. You got the Ente. My friendship with TCC is a business casual. How do you guys feel about those pulls? How tough were those pulls? He got one Ente. Now, if it had been, you know, if it had been one Mewtwo, that would have been fine, actually. He got one Ente. Russ. What are the P-Vents? President Agnew, you got a bag already? Prestige, Russ. Pope Masterflex, Power Nap. Raul. Ruby Rod. He says I don't have a bag. Ah, gotcha. I'm sorry, President Agnew. I have no con I have no power over the RNG in these packs. All I can do is get you fresh, good packs. <sighs> President Agnew. You rig it for me, mister. That's right. I rig it only for Russ, I'm afraid. Because we're such good friends. <laughs> You're too funny, mister. President Agnew's done. We're going to move back to... De Gimp. You ready, De Gimp? Rip my soul. <laughs> you know, President Agnew, it could have been worse. You could have bought them outright. And somebody probably will. Somebody will probably buy that many Shining Legends one day. And it will have just those pulls in it. And then I got to look at that and be like... <laughs> That's not the value of what he paid. Because that's how booster packs work. Somebody has to lose for somebody else to win. You know, because if every pack was a winner that earned you money, those cards wouldn't be rare, right? So somebody has to get cold pulls for somebody else else's pull to be considered valuable. That's precisely how it works. So when you guys open the pack, you take that risk. Maybe you break even. Maybe you, maybe you get cold pulls. Maybe you're the guy who pulls the Charizard. And you hope to be the guy who pulls the Charizard. But you do it for fun. It's entertainment. And uh, just be careful. <laughs> just be careful. Here we go. De Gimp. 
Only hot cards for the Gant, though, right? What's the wait time? Uh, can I actually see? I can no longer see the wait time. So this is not going to be like Streamlabs where it says how long ago the donation was made. With PayPal, it does not do that. Actually, I hope PayPal does things in order. Guess we're gonna find out, huh? All right, so PayPal does things out of order. That'll be uh, confusing. Here's Scissor VMAX. Three, four. Spinner Rack is Mew. Our set with more cold pulls contain more hotter pulls like Champ's Path. That's right. God King Lunar says, this is by far the best Sword and Shield set so far, says God King Lunar. Oops, looks like we went too many cards deep. It was a greenback anyways. Hold on, let's find it. Yeah, scramble. Here's a white back. Let's see what we got here. Nah, it's going to be Hollow Tapu Coco. Starting out cold so far today. That means all the hot pulls are just around the corner. Oh, but we're not done. Let's see if this is a Charizard. Nope, that's going to be Hollow King is gone. Hey, Mr. TCC. Congrats on 10K. Thanks, man. Been here a while. You have been here a while. Oops. There's a green back. Oh, come on, mister. So you've already got two pulls, Scissor and Mew. But we'd love to see a hyper pull come out. Oh, you still have a chance? Let's see. Three, four. What's up, cool bro? And unfortunately, it is just another hollow. What packs to get for the Zard pulls? Uh, Darkness Ablaze gives you a chance for the Zard pulls. So here we are, and this is for DeGimp. DeGimp, let's find your bag. Deadman, Daniel, D Steel, Fury TV. He needs to go up top. He's his back's kind of larger. Danger Dino, Danger Dino, DA, Finnamore. How long does shipping usually take? It could take a little while. If you do live shipping, uh, it's very, very, very fast. But that costs a little money. If you want the free shipping, you gotta head over to the police ship channel. And write me a message, and then you get in. Basically, you get into a queue, and I work that queue down every day. There we go. Oops, hold on. Your back's gonna stay down here. Uh, actually, this is an empty bottle. This is an energy drink. Okay. Next, we have Mendoza. I'm Junior Mendoza. My Discord is Pelham Kush. All right, but uh, do you want a particular nickname? Right, let's open up his. Uh, let's open up his darkness. Vivid Voltage has a chunky Rainbow Pikachu. Nice. Chunky. Pelham Kush. All right. So from now on, you want to listen carefully. From now on, every time you write a message in PayPal, be sure to say, my bag name is Pelinkush, okay? My bag name is Pelinkush. And that way, when I open your cards, I put them into the correct bag. Toss this over here. All right. So we want that consistency. Rowlet. That's green. Two, three, four. <laughs> Look at the, um, uh, that title apparently is not very popular. The title that just says channel update, channel update. Look at that. We got, we're over an hour in. We only have 300 viewers. People like the, uh, <laughs> they, they like the clickbait titles a little better, but you know, it is an important title. I think to communicate to people that we've changed. I should take a nice, bu nice bite. People were showing up in large numbers last couple days for that giveaway, huh? There's a Lugies and here's a glaring Stunfisk. Did I see the Dumb Money live video? No. No, I did not. Were you talking about the old one where he got scammed? The one from like two days ago? How much is the base set booster pack in the background? It's, if it's for sale. Uh, I think it's like 25000 now if somebody wants to open it. Because I'm basing the price on whether or not I can replace it. 
No, I, I don't know if it's that much, actually. It might be like... It might be less than that. <laughs> Is that cheese? Oh my gosh. Me, 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 me. Stir the robot lady up. <laughs> oh my god. They just went and bought it in like Philadelphia for 375k. They haven't opened it yet. Well, hopefully this one's real. Because, you know, I don't know who got killed for selling the fake box, but somebody lost money. Somebody lost money. Somebody's going to have to press charges, I'm guessing, against a, a thief, essentially. Unless it's all staged, which is possible. Could all be staged. But if it's not staged, somebody got scammed for some insane amount of money. All staged, says Tenzenberg. Yeah, I suppose it's possible, isn't it? Oh, it was real. The, they opened the booster box, not just, just not the packs. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, cool. They got sealed packs this time. Okay, let me go ahead and refresh PayPal. I think I have to refresh it. See, that's a that's another thing. To, uh, Streamlabs, it would update live, which was really cool. Yeah, I did have to refresh it. So let's see where we're at. Where are we? And let me just scroll backwards, make sure we haven't missed anyone. Looks like we have not. So, next up, we have Snow Walrus. What's up, man? One spot in a small two rounds of breakpoint. By the way, does it say the exact time? Let's see if it says the exact time. I'm clicking on this. No, it doesn't actually give me an exact time that the order arrived. So, I have no way to tell you how long the wait time is anymore. That's pretty bad. <laughs> so, Alan Tan, Snow Walrus. One spot in a small. We'll start there. Snow Walrus. Two rounds of breakpoint. Breakpoint. Oh, yeah, breakpoint. So funny, we don't open a lot of breakpoint. It's almost gone, believe it or not. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there is only one more round of breakpoint left. I'm going to go mark it as sold out. And we will not be restocking breakpoint for now. Well, I don't know. Well, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll think about it. Breakpoint wasn't particularly popular. If I restock it, I won't I won't bring in very much of it. Because I don't want to have like a I don't want to have like a stockpile of a set that nobody buys. You know what I mean? Unlike Darkness Ablaze, we stockpile Darkness Ablaze because we have to. Wouldn't it be wild if they pulled no Charizards? He says, what exactly are people doing? Opening packs for people? Yes. So in this live stream, you can order packs live and have them opened in real time. Excuse me, real time. Although real time is kind of a relative term because sometimes you have to wait an hour or two hours because the line gets so long. So here we go. Speaking of which, Snow Walrus, what do you got? Yeah, sometimes you got to wait like an hour to two hours because the wait time gets real bad. What would you guys do? If I, if I lowered the uh, fast pass... Oh, how will we do fast pass now? Oh, there's no way to do fast pass without the lady. Yeah, without the lady talking, there's no way for me to know. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> how can I look at what you can buy? Says Jeremy. How can I look at what you can buy? Uh, oh, the description. Yeah, the description. How's it going, Christian Chavez? Where is Lionskip champion? Where's, <laughs> where's the Lionskip champion? I don't know. Mister, why the change? Ooh. Pulling the Dark Rye Full Art. What a fantastic pull. Look at that, guys. Yeah, so uh, we're changing over to PayPal. Uh, we're not going to be using Streamlabs anymore. And this is because I got contacted by Streamlabs, and they're like, hey, it looks like you're running a business, and you're really just supposed to use this for donations. So we still have Streamlabs, but we're going to just be using it for donations, okay? We'll just be running. We'll be. You can still open packs, but there won't be any sound effect, okay? First thing you got to do before you buy a pack is smash that like button. Yeah, it's a little bit of a noof. Uh, but my wife and I are interested in seeing if maybe there's some alternatives. People can donate to Streamlabs and just say what they want to fast pass. Oh, that's true. So I guess if you order, well, yeah, see, that, that's so much work. 
You'll make two donations. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Yeah, maybe we will still use uh, Streamlabs. I don't know. Is FastPass a... Is it a donation or is it a product? I feel like it's a product. Numel. Try looking in the stream elements. All right. That was my same question. Where do you see the packs to buy so I can order? Oh, they're in the, they're in the description. It's all in the description. The link to PayPal. The instructions are in the description. For everyone who wants to participate, you need to read all the... Oh, man, you got so lucky. You need to read all the instructions. Are those print lines? I think those are print lines. Oh, weird. I've never seen that on a full art before. Look at that. You pulled Darkrai and Ho-Oh. Those were some great finishing packs for Breakpoint. Nice job, mister. Woo! Two rounds of Breakpoint, two full arts. That is some really great luck. I think those are print lines. I'm not sure if those are print lines on the ho ho. Are those supposed to be there? Maybe that's just a natural part of the uh, full art texture. You know, like this isn't perfect, for example, when you look at it. You are good to love my PayPal purchase, sir. I added a bow rat image. You can add an image on PayPal? You are able to add, um, it looks like you're able to add emojis. That's interesting. Wow, wow, wee wow. <laughs> You're too funny, man. Okay, let's jump back. So this is Snow Walrus. Let's go ahead and get it into his bag. It is Snow Walrus, right? Yeah. Nice luck for Snow Walrus tonight. Travioli, Tommy, Twin. You know, it's sad. I'm always looking for ways to speed up the live stream, not <laughs> slow it down. And the switch over to uh, PayPal tonight definitely slows it all down. Okay, next we have, it's DA. What's up, DA? Let me get a spot in the medium. You got it, DA. I think that finishes the medium. DA1503. By the way, if you guys want me to just use your real name, you're totally welcome to that. Just just say, hey, just use my real name or something. Or don't, don't leave a nickname. You know, no nickname, I'll use your real name. Here we go. We need 21 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yes, I do pay taxes on this, and uh, this year, it, this April, I'm actually very scared of the taxes. I don't know how big they will be. Uh, I do not have a brilliant accountant working with me, uh, so there's very poor records of what's happened going on here, and uh, so I'm very scared of the next round of taxes. Did you add me to the medium, says Clinton. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to add Clinton. Here, let's add Clinton. Did we already have two rounds with Clinton? Clinton beans. All right, there you go, mister. Donate a bunch of money to charity. That's right. We'll do a charity donation and... Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm pretty frightened because we had this year for card opening has been pretty extraordinary. Pretty extraordinary. We've gone through multiple $10,000, $20,000 um, uh, booster boxes. We've gone through case after case after case after case of cards. Um, I don't know what will happen. All those PSA cards I sold you guys over time through like the custom booster pack games. There was a little bit of profit in those uh, PSA cards. I got to pay. I'm pretty sure I'm just, I got to pay some taxes. So I don't know. I had cards that appreciated and then I sold them and the profit margin on them were pretty good. <laughs> that Charizard, the, the Charizard we did just the other night, right? That, um, that Charizard, I bought him for 700. I sold him to you guys for 3,700. That's like $3,000. So I got I got some taxes to pay, and yeah, it does make me nervous. Can you not mark all the packs you buy as write-offs? Here's Purloin. Well, that will be your cost of operating. Shinzu says, if you keep the receipts 
for the booster boxes, I think you go, you can have some tax credits. Yeah, so what you're talking about is those are the, that's the cost of operating. And that's exactly what you, you you know, that's what, exactly what you have to do. That's what the accounting is for. You have to say, here's what I spent. Here's what I sold them for. Here's what I earned. Here are these extra costs that I had to running uh, the, the, the whole operation, you know, like tape and all that stuff, shipping. Shipping is a big deal, right? I, I pay a lot for shipping. The postage, I pay a lot of postage. So I have to calculate all that, but I, I don't have an actual accountant who does that for me, and I probably ought to. I believe you gave the Charizard away. No, I did not. <laughs> I sold custom booster packs is what I did. So you pay taxes on that. You pay taxes for selling those. You write off kitty costs. That's right. A cat food. The cat's are required for the stream, so whole years of cat food is definitely a tax, uh, that's definitely a cost to operation. Can you mark the stand-up desk? Yes. So the stand-up desk will be included in the cost of operating the channel because I bought it. It's, it's basically equipment for operating this channel. Right, landing on two. Sorry if I'm going a little slow. A lot to talk about today. One, two. Mister, I thought you were going to LLC. I am going to LLC. That's another thing. I don't really know how the taxes work now. All right, that was Rod, Zacho Strout, three, four. Yeah, I, I'm nervous because it's like my first time doing it this way. RPG. Also, how does it work? Like, are the taxes different? Because I wasn't an LLC the whole year, right? I was only an LLC for part of the year. One, two, three, four, five. We got six. I have so many questions. Seven, eight, eight. Eight for Travioli. You ready, Travioli? Ooh, wait. <laughs> Why am I acting it like it's a pull from the small? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because my mind is elsewhere. That's why. Travioli, congratulations on picking up the medium. TCC, LLC. That's right. <laughs> All right. Sorry to everyone else. Yes, the prices are in U.S. dollars. Did you do the medium? Yeah, we just did. This is the medium. Keep up, mister. <laughs> Never mind. Oops, I'm like half paying attention. <laughs> Don't worry. Sometimes I'm half paying attention. Most of the time I'm half paying attention. What do I do here? We open up Pokemans all day. What do you mean my free spot didn't win? <laughs> Get a QuickBooks online account. You can add your bank and PayPal. It tracks all your income and expenses. You know what? The bank I worked for, right out of college, uh, I remember they had a QuickBooks feature that was causing all kinds of problems with their software, but it was a big deal for the clients to be able to have their QuickBooks work with their bank account. So maybe I need to figure that out. Yeah, I need to get on that. I mean, what are we in? We're in um, we're in freaking November, basically. I should not be procrastinating on the taxes because I don't know. I guess I guess there's just so much that goes on in the day to day, like shipping and doing the actual live stream for like six hours because they go on forever. Uh, I haven't been giving accounting a proper attention. I need to start doing that right now rather than like a month before it's time to to actually pay the tax man. He's scary, man. Ooh, the tax man. I lost all my cards in a boating accident. <laughs> Who's next? Next up, we have... Oh, that was the dollar transaction that went through pay, uh, Streamlabs. That's so interesting. Shinzu, what's up, Shinzu? Cool, so Shinzu Music, his PayPal account actually is just Shinzu Music. That's very neat. He says, two Steam Siege, five Darkness. Shinzu is my name on Discord. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Some Steam Siege. How's it going, mister? So five rounds of Steam Siege. No, I'm just kidding. One, two, three, four, five. I saw those five packs. <laughs> Tax man will put you in jail. I don't think they'll put me in jail. They'll want my money. They'll be like, <laughs> pay up. You can keep all the hollows. Oh, thanks, man. Not sure if you've done me yet. Uh, no, I... Uh... I have not. Was I? Did I miss you? Is that why you're asking? Let me go to the um, that old waiting line thing. 
Mike Lamb is in the waiting line channel. And let's see. Let me see something. Okay. And let me see if you're up ahead. Oh, you're up ahead, Michael Lamb. Wow. The wait time really was pretty long. So despite switching over to PayPal, there is quite a long wait time. He says, you can put all the hollows in the back. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Options again for the medium. Oh, uh, eight packs Champion Path. Six packs of, oh, eight packs Shining Legends as well. So Champion's Path, Shining Legends, eight packs. Hidden Fate, six packs. For the Japanese sets, you have your option of a whole box of Legendary Heartbeat. And then English boxes, you got Darkness Ablaze, Steam Siege, obviously the best set, Steam Siege. See, that's the thing. The other guy should have done Steam Siege. You can keep me, you can have me send you a sealed box of Steam Siege, by the way, for your sealed box collection. Rebel Clash is an option, and so is Sword and Shield base set. There we go. Spit it out. How can I enter these drawings exactly? Well, these are custom booster packs, and you can purchase them through PayPal. But before you participate, you really need to click on the Discord link, and this will send you to the instructions channel, and you need to read everything in that channel. Can I share a link? Uh, I'm pretty sure... I'm sh pretty sure YouTube will not let anyone share links except for moderators. Moderators can share links. All right, two, three. Jimchar, what? He's got a little gear in his mouth. Yeah, that's a greenback. He says, I'll send to them on Discord. Uh, all right, but uh, yeah. You didn't really tell me what the link was. I don't want you to get in trouble. Travioli wants Hidden Fates. Travioli, Hidden Fates. We got Shelmet. Mister, if you need help setting up QBO, let me know. More than happy to help. QuickBooks. QuickBooks. I better start setting up that QuickBooks. Woo, Hidden Fates. The FBI will come for me, no lie. Oops, hold on. Have I not been giving you these? My bad. We were supposed to get this toxicity. I don't even remember. Dark Rye. How much is it for being on the list? Mister, he wanted the hollows. What? Not the hollows. Stop trying to trick me, mister. We got Lunatone. Wow. Perfectly cold. All seven packs. Oh, that's a bummer. Let me toss you. Let me simp you a. Uh, let me simp you a free card, mister. You go. You got the right you, bro. He goes, bro. You could have your lady do your bookkeeping. She has a full time job that already takes her whole day, so I know she can't do the accounting. He said, "Put the hollows in his bag." Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. Stop trying to trick me, everyone. I'm too streetwise for that. You can't trick me. Shinzo, did you already have Shinzo? Right? Shinzu, Shinzu, did you already have a bag? Let's see, Shinzu, no bag. All right, let's go ahead and grab a bag. They are the IRS guys with the guns. What? The name was too good. What? Oh, I should do the whole name. Shinzu Music. There goes YouTubers making that line long again. Oh, my God. Who's next? It's Turdy. He says the bag name is Turdy. I'd like one Shining Legends, please. I request shipping on Discord, but I don't believe you've gotten to mine yet. I I probably have not. All right, let's see. Hey, Mister, where's Kitty? She's not in her usual kitty box. She's right next to us still, though. She's sitting on the couch. She's all comfy on the couch. No luck, Mister. Cold pack. Get that away. Please do me a bag. Please it in my dream. What? You almost need to put re-description in the title. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I know. So people go read it. <laughs> you're going to open Trav's packs. Trav. Oh, Travioli. Yes. Also, I got to sneeze. Hold on.
Woo! Okay, Jesus. I sneezed like three times there. So Travioli wants to open up Hidden Fates. Let's get that for Travioli. Ridiculous amount of people ask how to buy. Well, and that's because a lot of people are now learning how to buy again. So that was expected. That's to be expected. We got four packs right here. Rona. Sent a screenshot. How's it going, Funky Fluffy? I don't know what that means, but I don't check the I don't check Discord during the live stream unless it's an emergency. So let me know if it's an emergency, okay? An emergency would be like somebody's jumped into the Discord and they're needing to be banned right away. That would be a that would be an emergency. Another thing you could ask is like if you sent a transaction and something went wrong and you need me to, to correct it, that would be another emergency. Okay, so Travioli, let's see what you get. So those would be two great examples. Sleep. Shins are gonna expose me. Shins are no. Sneep. Sad that we can't do credit card now. But I don't know. Maybe the maybe PayPal accepts a credit card. We'll have to figure it out. Here it goes. Here it goes. You'll sort it out later. Sounds good, mister. Pack number one. Pack number two. Sephlo says they do. Oh, interesting. Okay. So maybe all we need to do then is set up our PayPal to accept. Oh, maybe you guys just have to set it up from your side? I don't know. Three, four. We got Wigglytuff and Fairy Energy. You know, if everything came strictly through PayPal, all payments did, that would actually make my accounting life much easier, I'm pretty sure. Again, uh, Streamlabs was actually making it difficult to do accounting for this channel. And uh, we were actually talking about it and concerned about it, my wife and I. We got Routes Shiny. Hopefully, one full art, but you never know. Let's see what's next. Secret Rare Birds would be nice. They don't show up so often anymore. They used to show up so often, Secret Rare Birds. It's just like every other pack it felt like. Last pack, you ready, Travioli? Okay, you got another shiny. That's the Garchomp shiny. It looks well-centered, which is really important for your grading. What's up? It's Prime. That was for Travioli. Let's go find your bag. Travioli, do you have a bag? Start looking right now. Here he is. Very nice, mister. Could have gone worse. Actually, it's definitely better than the Shining Legends packs we opened earlier. All right. And now we move on to... Oh, I got to sneeze again. What the hell? Okay, so we have somebody. He didn't give me a nickname. And because of that, I'm going to go with your full name, okay? One round of Lost Thunder Strikes, please. Uh, those aren't for sale, but the funny thing is, I happen to have a single round of them sitting somewhere. Where did I place them? So I have this one round of Lost Thunder, but uh, these weren't even supposed to be for sale. However, I'll go ahead and open them for you. Do you have a P.O. box? No, you just send them straight to my address. All right, here goes. Do you sell bulk? Uh, I've been trying to think of ways to sell bulk that makes sense time-wise. Uh, I have these huge boxes of bulk over here. Let me show you. I didn't even put these together. Quip did it for me. So she sacrificed some of her time. She sacrificed her own life for Pakistan. So those are big boxes of bulk over there. And um, they're sort of for sale. Have a nice night, Shinzu. What we're going to be doing... Oh, it doesn't say sold out? Shoot, man. Let me go update it. Holy... Let me go update it. It's supposed to say that. Those big boxes are going to be for the small. They're re really quite a lot of bulk. And what you could do with that bulk, by the way, you can immediately trade that in if you want. Because uh, I know there's places that buy bulk. So you're, excuse me, you're able to do that. Sold out. Any other changes I need to make? All right, let me go save this.
How's it going, Red Flare? But I'll leave that up to you guys, and you guys will just get... They're very well sorted. So what I had her do, I had... Uh, Quip took 100 cards of bulk at a time, baggied them up, and then she was able to fit 27 of those in each box. So it's already very well sorted. So you can play with the bulk, you can give it to your children, if you have kids. It, it would actually be really nice for your kids. Ultimately, though, if you just want straight cash for it, once it arrives, you can just relabel it, literally. You can just relabel it and send it off. Okay. So, Joseph, are you ready? Hey, mister, do you cut cards? I cut the cards all the time. Oh, man, I gotta sneeze again is the problem right now, guys. How much bulk? I have quite a lot of bulk over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen times twenty-seven hundred. Let's see how much bulk is in those bucks. Like thirty-seven thousand. You want all that bulk, huh? Well, it's gonna be it's going to be one of the prizes in the small, okay? And the reason we're doing that is because I currently don't have a lot of prizes for the small. So I need to reserve them for that, okay? Hey, mister, do you mind if I get the hollow and reverse hollow Vaporeon DMs from my Hibs pack? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's all of them. And Travioli, you'd be right in the front. <clears throat> I guess if everyone requested this, though, the problem is the already full boxes would actually fill up even worse. Because you basically just doubled the size of your bag. All right, here we go. Joseph. Change evolution to a dollar per round. That's right. Hey, mister, can you look my cards before shipping? I don't want to work. Only cut mister does is on taxes, the tax evasion economist. <laughs> I, I wish I was that skilled, but I'm not. <laughs> I'll end up paying probably more than I need to pay because I'm not skilled enough. Which is the best card according to you? The best card according to me, huh? Uh, the one with the Pikachu on it. All right. So we got Genesect and this nice-looking Tapu Lele. What's in the small? What is in the small? You guys want to talk about the small real fast? Let me get this guy a new bag. So, Joseph, I only know what I know through PayPal, so I only have your real name. You didn't leave me a. You didn't leave me any kind of, like, nickname. Let me know once you pick a price for the book boxes. Uh, there probably won't be a price on them. They're prizes for the small, okay? If you happen to win it in the small, that would be pretty cool. One problem we're going to run into... Oops. Stay logged in. One problem we're going to run into is... Those cannot be shipped internationally. Yeah, they can't be shipped internationally. Maybe I can find another solution to it, though. Sorry about that. I sniveled. He could theoretically just buy out an entire small. Ah, uh, that's true. So let's see. It's because I was sneezing so much. Matt Thurgood. He says, XY Evolutions Custom Booster Large... I have already paid for international shipping. Sounds good, Matt. Remember, if you guys don't leave a nickname for me, I I don't know I don't know who you are. So I have to go by your real name, okay? So let's see. And I've already paid for international shipping. Sounds good. So here's your evolutions pack. Here's your spot. Oh, here's a spot in the large. So what has to happen, Matt? See how there's 17 packs total? All 17 packs have to sell out, and then I open them all. All right, let's go ahead and trim this up. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm your mom. Mom! Mom, I want Pokemans. Let's see what you got, mister. Okay, you got Mega Venusaur and Drowsy Reverse Hollow. 
It's a little off center. <laughs> Will the value for unopened Happy Meal box with Pokemon promo card be worth something in the future? Everything will be worth something in the future. The question is how much? Okay. Let's get you oops. Let's get you a bag. How much? Two hundred dollars. One bazillion. There we go. You don't take out the Charmanders anymore? Here you go. I was lazy. I don't actually know if they're that valuable. Vintage sealed Happy Meal with Burger King, Burger still inside, 10K by Christmas. <laughs> Steam Siege is the most printed set, mister. All I want is Steam Siege. That's the best set. Don't even mess, mister. Could you avoid taxes if you made viewers pay friends and family on PayPal? No. Do you like egg on burgers? I love eggs. I love all kinds of different dishes with them. Um, I don't eat hamburgers too often, but uh, an egg on a hamburger would be fine. Michael Lamb. What's up, Michael Lamb? For the PSA grades. Ooh, that's a big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think you're short. Maybe he didn't want all of them. Yeah, so you're short. Discord, please read your Discord. <laughs> all right, let's jump over here. Guessing there's two you changed your mind on. Give me a moment. Do you go? Oh, here it is. He says, I owe you still. Oh, yeah, the tab you owe me still. Is that right? So you want the Lily, the Blastoise, the Pikachu, two Cynthia, Aether Foundation Paradise. Is that what it is? Here it is. Paradise Conservation Area. Vileplume. Dreadnought. Charizard VMAX tab. Okay, so I think you're saying leave the rest of these and you've paid off the tab. No problem, man. That's fine. We'll just put them back here. You're totally fine. Okay, we got all these. And uh, I'll go ahead and just put them into another bag. Oh, actually, here, let's... We got to go to the PSA... We have to go to PSA requests and update that so there's a record. I like to have two records. The, the two record system has been pretty smart, I think, over time, because it's actually caught, it's caught one or two confusing situations and made them easy. Mike Lamb. It does slow the live stream down, though. So that's Dreadnought, Hyper, Vaplume. Hyper Cosmic, Aether, Paradise, Hidden, Cynthia, uh, Ultra Prism, right? Cynthia, Hidden, Pikachu, Rev, Evolutions, uh, ooh. Blastoise, Piplup. Cosmic. Oh, look, it's Quip. And Lily. Full art. I don't remember what set that's from. All right, Mike Liam. We wrote you up. We wrote you a ticket. It's so weird not using Streamlabs. I'm used to, like, switching back over to Streamlabs, but now we don't do that. It's so weird. All right, we're going to have to pull these out of here. <laughs> So all these, the reason we have those there is because they don't fit up top. The top's full. Okay, Dreadnought. And I honestly couldn't tell you what I'm going to do with all this. I'll set it over here for now. I got a spot over here. So we'll place it over there for now. That's pretty bad. Did I write your name on it? Oh, I got to write your name on the bag. 
I would have known it's yours. It's pretty obvious. Okay. Really beautiful. Can't wait for those to return. Stephen Gorey. He sent a dollar on Streamlabs, I think. Here we go. Give me a spot in the medium. It's cheese. All right. I didn't recognize that name. <laughs> I was like, who is this? Here you go, cheese. Oh, man. The temptation is to read your full name out. No, I'm not saying I'm tempted. I'm saying my eyes look at the list, and the first thing I see is a real name. And so my brain says, that's the name of the person. Read that. But I have to stop myself and read the message. All right, Hyperpools, two spots on the Juicy Ente Large. Here you go, Hyperpools. Two spots. Now we have Russ. It's Russ. One round of Steam Siege for the Tiki Taki. All right. Steam Siege with Russ. Buy yourself something nice. Hey, get yourself something nice. Don't say I didn't do nothing for you. <laughs> oh, that's an actual donation that just came through. Is that what you're... <laughs> Let's see. So there's the... It's... <laughs> A dollar and sixty nine cents. Thank you very, thank you very much, Subflow. Hey, don't say I didn't do nothing for you. <laughs> Two kinds, Mister. All right, what do we have next? I gotta hit that refresh button. Let's see what happens. So we we caught up to Russ. Hit the refresh. The wait time's pretty short. Who do we have next? Round of Darkness for Mike M. Huh. You know, other than the Streamlabs lady being quiet the whole time, it feels like a normal stream. It really does. Nothing changed. Time to push Steam Siege on TikTok. That's right. I don't want all of my cards, but I don't want to pay international shipping every time. Okay. <laughs> well, the trick there is to leave your cards over here until you've built up kind of a nice heavy bag and then have me ship it just one time. That's the trick. Okay. Here we go. Mike Am. Only hot poles for Mike. As you guys know. We got Q font. What do we have here? I AFK, you doing you going in on shining? Gotta get that shining legends. Here's another green bag. Do you keep our bulk if we live ship in the future? Says Sebflow. Um Yes. So let me explain. If you've already opened up like 10 packs or whatever. And then like three days later, you say, do the live shipping. Um, the problem is, I don't know what your bulk is at that point. Okay. So what you probably want, though, is a bulk box, right? So if you look in the description under shipping, there's this thing called a bulk box. Let me show you what those are. I don't explain it all too often. It's these. See them? So those are bulk boxes. And every time you order cards, I put the bulk in there. You get those for like two weeks guaranteed. And... So if you're wanting to keep all your bulk, it costs $14 to have a bulk box, okay? And that's literally just the price of a priority shipping box. I messaged you on Discord, but I just want to stay to here. I sent you six PSA 10 cards I won from you, by the way. So in theory, you have six PSA cards for the future small after purchase. Hey, hey. I just want to stay to here. I sent you P six PSA 10 cards I won from you, by the way. So I think you're saying that you're sending back some cards that you won. In, the, in theory, you have six PSA cards for the future small. Wow. So are you are you gifting me those? Because if you're wanting store credit for them, by the way, you can have store credit for them. 
Uh, I buy back PS PSA cards, uh, not all the time, but some people actually like it. Oh, right, selling. Sounds good, sounds good. Perfect. He says, we will discuss when they arrive. <laughs> no problem. Okay, toss this over here. Some playing around money, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That'll help with the PSA, uh, with the small. Mike M. So Mike M, I think you're one of the guys. I No, actually, I think you're up top. That's the problem with having multiple locations for this stuff. Mike M. Here we are. Sweet. We got a really nice bag. Mr. Trade Me, I have too many Butterfree cards. <laughs> How many Butterfree cards do you got, Mike? Got like a bazillion Butterfrees. All right. Up next, we have Sumo 1K. He says, I have a bag, and it's my birthday. I thought I would go for the gold with one pack. I think he means Champion's Path. He also says, one medium, spot 13. Okay, one medium, spot 13. Sumo 1K. It's a little bit harder than it was with, with Streamlabs. I always knew your nickname by simply reading the title. I have to look up your message to find the nickname a second time. Am I still considering grading some cards with the CGC? Uh, it's not something that I'm, like, working on, to, to put it into perspective, okay? Let's see. What do we got? Happy birthday. Let's see. Ooh, and it's cold. <laughs> These things are always cold, man. I blame Mary. Mary did this to us. She cursed us. They're not always cold. We've actually pulled a fantastic number of Charizards out of those. He says, that is Japanese base set. What? He says, I forget what's in my bag, but I'm pretty sure I got extras from Darkness Ablaze. Who's next? We have, Ru oh, I almost said his name. <laughs> New Gen, three medium and one large. New Gen. Stopped myself. You're welcome. I'm adjusting to this new reality. <laughs> Does anyone care about people hearing their name? Yeah, somebody heard my name. Yeah, there is something weird about sharing your name with strangers on the internet, but we're all strangers. That's the nice thing. Okay, now we have Josh Luckett, and he wants a spot in the medium. You got it, Josh. Lucky getting lucky? We'll have to find out. Does PayPal mean no line skips? I think what you could do is somebody suggested paying for the line skips in the Streamlabs, and I think that the the line skips are so infrequent, so rare, that actually Streamlabs probably would not care. So maybe we will do it that way. If you wanna if you wanna line skip, maybe you have to donate. Mister, you need to do a fire sale and put Evos a dollar around for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everyone and their grandma would buy like a hundred of them. Okay, let me hit the refresh button. I think we're caught up. How far into the live stream are we? We're two hours in. That's pretty good for being caught up. I think with the changes to it, kind of like what I predicted, uh, a lot of people who would have opened cards on credit uh, are not opening cards tonight. And then there are people who kind of have to learn how it works now and... It's always hard to get people to learn something new. So they go, ah, I don't care. You know what I mean? Mister, I live shipped three days after buying packs, and you somehow pulled out my bulk and shipped it with my hits? Did you? I, I, I don't remember that. Maybe what happened was I just grabbed some bulk? I don't know. You can, you know, if you do live shipping, I'll always give you a little bit of bulk. He says, you don't have a tab anymore? What? Okay, clean the table up a little bit since we're having a moment. Okay, put this over here. So, you know what I shouldn't have done earlier today? I opened my mail because, you know, it's fun. I like opening my mail. I should have done that here in the live stream. Uh, but I guess if it comes down to it, I'll open up some XY Evos for myself if things slow down too much. Here's some great cards we're sending out to grade. So this Charizard VMAX will be sent out, and he's going to be for you guys when he comes back. Uh, we have some Japanese cards. Look at this. Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, 
We got a Shadowless Raichu, Gyarados, Victory Bell First Edition. These are great cards. Here's a First Edition uh, Abra. Seal, First Edition. We got Blaine's Charizard, Dragonite. Here's a Unlimited Blastoise, Shadowless Nido King. We got some really nice cards. And these really are... I'm getting these for you guys. I'm getting these... Well, this one might be mine. I don't know. It depends on the grade. Dugongs, Amazenta, Shining Genesec, Rock Ruff, and Heracross. Yeah. I'm putting these together for you guys to have some really cool stuff. Someday in the future, these will come back probably like months from now. And it will be so much fun when they arrive. Of course, what I could do... We could make them available now in the small, but the problem with that is I don't know their value, and they're technically raw cards, and I don't really want to sell them as a raw card, so I would rather have them get graded and come back. Maybe since the wait time, though, at PSA is so long and the demand is so high, maybe we will try CGC. I don't know. It's not such a terrible thing, I guess. Maybe we'll just send off specific cards to CGC of a cards of a certain type. It, it is PSA's fault for going so slow. They have to speed up, man. They got to go faster. Android says, how does the medium work? I'm thinking about buying a spot. Yeah, so this is a common question. Uh, those are my custom booster packs. Let me show you what they're like. So this list, this basically just tells me who bought a custom booster pack. And when they're all sold, I assemble the custom booster packs very fast. So here they are. These are my custom booster packs. You can see I'm just reusing the old old uh, foil from regular packs. Their tops are sneaked off. And what I do is I take a card, something like this, and I write on it. Maybe I draw on it like this. Okay, so the card has a drawing on it. I just do that for fun. But now this is a custom card. This is a custom chase pull. It, it, it's something I made very hastily, I should add. But uh, that's a custom card. And what's so important about this card is I will personally trade you a booster box for this card. So this is a this is a pretty good card to own. So if you have this card, it's not valuable really to anyone else. It's really valuable to me. I will trade you a whole box for this. And then this guy goes in here. He goes into one of the custom booster packs. And we give him a good shuffle. And then one person uh, will open up everyone's booster packs. And each pack comes with bulk, by the way. So there's some bulk cards. And uh, you're actually entitled to take these home if you want them. Actually, one of the changes I've been meaning to make, I want to put some actual bulk in there, not just energy cards. So I need to do this for each pack. It's just a slow process. So there we go. So each pack will have some bulk in here and if you really want yours you can tell me to add it to your bag because you're entitled to it it's yours uh but so we go through each custom booster pack and we wait to find aha here's the here's the chase card the chase card's easy to find because i make it easy to find you know i pop it out and you see the back of the card flip it around you've got the hit so this is the chase card and since it's yours now i write your name down on it and you can trade me this for a whole booster box i will make that trade with you Mom, I did it. I won. <laughs> and this list is to figure out who wants a custom booster pack, okay? So we use this list to find out who wants one. You pay for it. I write your name down. We put you in an order. We have to oops, we have to shuffle the packs, of course, to make sure nobody, I can't rig it. Nobody knows where the card is. It's just like what Nintendo does. Nintendo shuffles their decks, their uh, boxes, you know, so you don't know where the rare card is every time you open it. It's very important that you don't know or else you would just open the good card every time, right? So there's a RNG in their boxes and there's RNG in our boxes. Do you have the small going again? Yeah, so the small is running again. Let's go over what's available in the small. So you can see some people have already jumped in. We have the huge bulk box. That's that uh, $2,700 bulk cards that uh, is in that big priority mailbox over there. Rose is one of the pulls. So. We're doing that thing where there's a bunch of cards to be sent off to grade, and I'm paying for the entire grading. So see, these are all the cards. Many more, I should mention this. This is many, many more cards than would normally be in the small, right? So how would the small normally work? There'd be about six cards in here. The small would normally be six of these, right? And since we're not doing that, I'm trying to be generous. We're doing a whole bunch of cards but you have to wait for them to get graded. So that's the trade-off. Okay, and uh, for this small, you've got Rose is one prize. Pikachu Raichu is another prize. So one person gets both of these. 
These three cards right here are another prize. Hypno, Ditto, Haunter. Those are from Fossil. And then one more prize is Moltres, Muck, and Hitmonlee. That's another prize. These get totally graded for you. And then finally, this is probably the best one here. Uh, this is already done being graded, and it's a Burning Shadows Hyper, and it's a 10. That's a big deal. As you guys know, the Burning Shadows cards, they never grade 10 because there's a cutting error. So he's basically first edition Burning Shadows. That's what he is. And uh, it's a nice thing to have in your collection. If you sit on this card, it will one day be desirable when Burning Shadows is completely out of print, and you'll have it and other people won't. I have two of them, so I'm, I'm giving one out. Okay. Go ahead and grab all this. And of course, there's a spot in the large as one of the prizes, as always, and a huge bulk box. When, you, uh, arrive, when this arrives, you'll like this. Okay. You need to clip that part and post it as a video so you won't have to explain again and again. All right, let me hit clip. I think there is a way to clip it. Save highlight. It'll be 100K by December. Tenzin said, I just paid on PayPal with the message and my name. That is all we do, right? That's correct. Let me go ahead and hit refresh, by the way, on PayPal. So there's no sound effect anymore, which means I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the moment that an order comes in. Okay. And I'm not seeing any new orders. Let me jump back and forth between this and the other thing. Maybe refreshing didn't work. Hmm, that's weird. It says, it says stuff changed on recent activity. Let me jump back to activity. Give me a minute, okay? Oh, there it goes. I had to, I had to jump between two things in order to get it to update. That's weird. Okay, so the last person we helped was uh, Josh Luckett. And then we have Joseph Dolezal. Oh, it's these. Okay, we got you. Okay. Let's update that for you then. Let's find your bag, because I think you already had a bag, right, these? There you are. And we want to take this one. Pull the cards out. Yeah, you got to say your nickname in the message these days. <laughs> you end up with two bags. <laughs> We don't want that. That will be very confusing for shipping. By the way, feel free to just go by your your regular name. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so he wants a round of darkness. And, um... Okay, yeah, that's correct. Weird. You know, it's, it's, some people, it looks like it didn't take a fee. That's so weird. Some people, it looks like it did not take a fee. Yeah, there was no fee for this guy. And then other people, it is taking a fee. I don't understand. One, two, three, four, five. Here goes. You ready? I better look into upgrading my PayPal to being uh, to becoming a business account. This is for these. Mom, Mister isn't getting monies. Mom, I hate it. I hate it. I hate you. <laughs> Congrats on 10K. Thank you so much, mister. We didn't just break 10K. We got 10K and almost all the way up to 200 already. We are working our way slowly but quickly to uh, 1,000 subscribers. That was a big night. We got so many subscribers. It was really crazy. I think it's because a lot of people were jumped in and they're like, I'm ready to be in that evolution's break. But uh, the break happened actually very early in the live stream. Who is this one? This is these. Okay, so it was these turns next. Next. I can't speak. So a few people ordered ahead of you, okay? He says, I missed it. Mister, will you put my cards into card savers? Uh, no. Card savers are very expensive, and they don't fit in these little boxes. If you have me, if you if you pay for a grading, I'll do it then, okay? So part of the cost of the card grading is that I put your card into a card saver for you. He says, boo! <laughs> I know. Card savers are expensive. I think they've gotten a little cheaper, have they? The ones that I have, I paid a lot for. So the next time I order them, hopefully they'll got, they'll be cheaper. Okay. Hound do. And your bag is right here. Let's go ahead and pop him in there. Who's next? Sepflo. I think Sep... Wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. What is going on? Didn't we do set flow? No, 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 that looks fine. All right, so set flow, he sent a dollar thirty-four. Buy yourself something nice. Weird. I thought that happened a while ago. That's so strange. Next we have Tenzenberg. He says five mediums. Start with two to four, and you can choose the rest. Haha, <laughs> take extra. Two for the tip. Aw, oh, thanks, mister. Okay, Tenzenberg. Tenzenberg, you're too nice, man. And we'll do... Uh, we'll do... 18, which is the age of consent. Actually, we'll do 18 and 17. Because in some states, it's as low as 17. So 17 and 18, the legal age of consent. Sounds good. And thank you for the $2 tip. Okay, next we have Hussman, and he wants one round of darkness and two custom boosters, medium. All right. I live in Canada, and I don't need to have money in my PayPal to order at any time, like in the U.S. What? So the way PayPal works, if your PayPal is hooked up to your bank account, you can you can transfer money from your bank account. PayPal will automatically transfer money from your bank account to your PayPal if you go over your balance in PayPal. That's what it'll do. And that's what was happening to some people where the Streamlabs wouldn't go off. Remember all those situations? That's because they were actually withdrawing from their bank, not PayPal. And so it wasn't it wasn't done transferring to like the next day or the next few days. Okay, so a darkness ablaze and the two mediums. Let's get those as well. He wants spots three and twenty one. Three is not available. We'll put you on ten. And twenty one. I have liked Pokemon since 2016. Oh, very nice. Whoever buys me an Evo round, I'll buy you a Steam Siege round. Hey, fair's fair. <laughs> Places to live that are a good value and living environment, question mark. Um, that's a great question. If you're talking internationally, United States would still be extremely high on my list. You pay, you earn more money in the United States and you pay less taxes. You really can get wealthy over here. I really believe that. Low taxes, high-paying jobs. People who are concerned about health care, you know, if you get one of those high-paying jobs, they come with health care. And as for education, it is true you have to pull out a student loan, but the interest fee on the student loan is quite small. It's subsidized by the government. And then really think about it for a minute. What would you like to do? Pay a student loan for a few years or pay high taxes your entire life? Choose the low-interest student loan pay it back as quick as you can, and then enjoy having a whole life of lower taxes. So get that health care with a good job uh, and make sure that you pay down the student loan quickly. It's, it's, a great, it's a great place to become wealthy, in my opinion, the U.S. A lot of land over here, and uh, there are places in the uni United States where the housing is really cheap, too. I live in Missouri. It's considered one of the top five cheap, cheapest places to live. You can get a very reasonable house for just $60,000. That's very little. Mario says, in the UK, you get a 27,000 student loan and you only repay 200 back a month if you make more than 29,000. That's nice. Taboa says, I got to find insurance now. My job let me go because of my work injury. I haven't made any money since September 3rd. This sucks. Yes, and so this is why they had the Obamacare option. That's a public option provided by the government. So you would sign up for that. But the problem is, I don't really know how it works if you don't have an income. Uh, maybe they have, maybe they make it basically free? I don't know. All I remember is that I didn't have health insurance myself when I was in college and I needed dental really bad. And I thought there was nothing out there for me because here in the US, oh, it's so expensive. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I had a tooth emergency at one point and the, the, uh, a nurse told me, look, you know, there's places you go when you're poor, right? And I went to one of those places. It was doctors who do charity work, receive government subsidies and, uh, people who are learning how to do dental and they took care of all my teeth for very little money. It was shockingly. So what would have cost like $200 was basically like the equivalent of $5. Um, so it was shockingly cheap. It was almost free basically. And so if you need help, do
do your work and do your research and find out how do I get help if I'm poor? Because they've, they've got the stuff already. By the way, for those who didn't know, in the United States, our top expenditure is not actually military. It's health care followed by Social Security. So we have Medicare and Medicaid. And then we have Social Security. And those are that together is almost our most of our budget right there. And then everything else just takes a little bit of the pie. OK, so there's stuff out there already that exists. Make sure you figure out how to access it. You know, if you have to go to the hospital and be like, I don't know how to fund this. Could you just explain it to me? You know, get into that hospital and ask. Start asking because people will help you, especially people who have more knowledge about it. Let's get back to opening up these packs. So this is for Hussman, right? I'm selling my Charizard and moving to Missouri. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, my wife and I talked nonstop about moving to another state when we were in college. And now we're graduated and we're both working our tails off. Really, we are. We're both working really hard. And we're trying to find out where should we move in the U.S. Missouri's actually not that bad for getting wealthy. You can get good paying jobs in Missouri with low taxes and low housing uh, cost of living expenses, including housing. So it's like we looked at each other at one point. We're like, are we already in the right state? And the state's boring. That's the thing. There's nothing exciting about Missouri. And so everyone just kind of flies over it. That's why they call it the flyover state. Right. They call the, they call the uh, boring states in the middle of America flyover states. Guess what? There's no drama in the flyover states. And it's cheap over here. It's cheap. There's less drama, especially if you stay away from the city. We're in the suburbs. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of nice. And if I work really, 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 really hard, I might be looking at an early retirement. I could maybe retire in my 40s. I don't know. And that's the dream, right? Have some wealth, retire while you're still semi-young. <laughs> so uh, how old are you? You don't have to answer. I'm just new. Uh, I'm 31 years old. Hey, mister, can you explain your grading service? I'm a noob. Okay, so the way it works, after you open a card like this one, you can send me 20 bucks and I'll send it off to grade for you. And then it comes back in like seven months because it takes forever. It's really that simple. You can instead have me ship this card to you at your house and then you can get on the PSA website and send it out yourself. This will be a little cheaper because if you hire me to do it, you're going to pay a little service fee. But also you're going to pay the extra cost of shipping because after it comes back to me, I then have to ship it to you. So that's part of my expenses. So there's a little service fee baked in and there's a little shipping fee baked in. Okay, so it's cheaper to do it yourself. But if you want me to do it, I'm pretty professional at it. I'm pretty good at doing it myself. Uh, so also, when we open it up, you'll, you'll get to be in the live stream. So that's a little bit fun, too. We go, all oh, right, uh, so-and-so's card graded a 9 or a 10. Woo, you know, so you get to be in the live stream. Uh, and either way, you will wait a long time because the grading is ridiculous how long it is. It, it just takes forever. Really, really slow. So, and some people like having me do it so much that they actually mail me their cards to, to send it out to grade, uh, which is, you know, to me, that was shocking that anyone would. It makes sense to me. If you do it from here from my, from my table already, yeah, it kind of makes sense cost-wise because the card's are already sitting here. You don't have to ship it. There's no cost. Some people are like shipping me their cards. It's like, all right. You could be in the, it's, it's kind of nice though because you'll be in the live stream when they come back. And, uh, you know, if you like it, if you like seeing me work on your cards, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. Husband. But yeah, obviously, if you do it from your own home by yourself, you'll save some money doing that. And uh, I've always told people, you know, you know, here, let's find Husband's bag. Husband, I think you need a new bag. I'm Husband. I forgot to write it on the note. No, you did. You wrote it on the note. I don't know if you have a bag. Let me let me write you. Let me get you a new bag. Do you drink beer or manly liquor? Uh, when I was younger, maybe in my early 20s, I went to beer parties. I had a friend. He was real social. And he hosted beer parties from our apartment all the time. And so I drank and uh, I had uh, one particular night where I drank like a third of a bottle of vodka maybe just because I wanted to know what happens if you drink this much. And it was a pretty, a pretty good night <laughs> at the start when I was really drunk and then really bad when I threw up my guts for a while. So, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've had alcohol, but I don't do any alcohol anymore. 
it has really nothing to do with, uh, I just don't like, I don't like the way it makes me feel. I don't feel smart when I drink alcohol. I feel like my brain's kind of mushy. So I like to feel smart. I like to think very clearly. And so I, I prefer caffeine strongly. And uh, I almost never drink alcohol at all. But yeah, I drank alcohol for a short while. It's more like for fitting in, I guess. Now I'm an adult, I don't care. I wouldn't buy something if I didn't like it. Drunk stream? Nah, there'll, there'll never be a drunk stream. <laughs> just does lines off Zards, that's right. I just do lines off Charizard's ass. <laughs> You're too funny. What is the grading for the ginger ale? I will buy it. All right, sending you my ginger ale ASAP. Next up, we have, sh oh, ooh, we have, this is the ever humble God King Lunar. We have God King Lunar. I would like two rounds of cosmic. You got it, mister. Two rounds of cosmic. And one shiny. Sweet. One, two, uh, and where's the shiny? There it is. All right, but only good pulls in here. What's the link for your grading thing? There's no link. Uh, it's just... It's just priced in the description. You can see at the bottom of the description is the cost of grading. And you just pay through PayPal and leave me a very detailed message. Who you are. You know, if you have a nickname, let me know what your nickname is. Let me know what you're buying. Right? Just like that. So give me lots of good good communication. Was it just one shining? Yeah, one shining. Okay, let's see what you get. Hey, mister. Thoughts on a low and muck PSA 10 burning shadows for 350 Wait, wait, wait. He's for three fifty now. That's crazy. I'm gonna go buy him up. I'm in the hospital, spending luck for you guys. What? What's he saying? Mister Jalapeno Coochie Fingers. That's right. I'm Mister Jalapeno. That's probably what, what she could have called me. You explain large custom booster. Then I'm done with dumb questions for the day. Can you explain the large custom booster? Yeah, I explain this very often. This is the only prize. This is the only pull, the only chase card, you might call it. And there's going to be 17 packs total. And once they're all sold, we're going to open them up, and one person will pull this Entei out. Okay, here we go. So you have to get on that waiting list. And then once the waiting list is full, uh, you got to pay for a spot is what you got to do. Once it's full, we start it. Mister, I, hopefully I didn't mess up on PayPal. Otherwise, you might have to check my message on Discord. Sounds good. Dress up your fingers as Diglets for Halloween. <laughs> I like it. I'll get my nails done. Got it? So small has the most prizes. Yeah, so the small has a bunch of prizes in it, but it's also got a lot of spots. And it's, a, you know, it's $20 a spot, which is kind of pricey, right? So people really like the small, though. What numbers are left on the small? Uh, I, I'm sure I'm not going to look that up for you. <laughs> Charizard Brexen. Nice job. What else we got? Roller skater. <laughs> what spots are left? I hate how Pokemon is pretty much just making Sword and Shield it dumb to me. Yeah, Sword and Shield, I hope the next iteration of Pokemon is of higher quality. Have you guys seen, you know, the remaster for an old game like Demon Souls looks a thousand times better than the current Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I, I think that's a problem for Nintendo Pokemon. Obviously, their sales are very strong. People love the Pokemon brand, but they've really got to step it up, man. They got to step it up. That's got to be a higher quality game. They got to include more stuff for adults to do, difficult stuff, you know? And uh, just higher quality textures, better stability on the internet, maybe a better story. Is that asking too much? Maybe a better freaking story. And uh, Pokemon designs for the latest generation are okay. Some are really good, like Corviknight, I think is fantastic. Uh, but then there's some that just kind of look really goofy, like, um, what, uh, I don't know what it, an example would be. I'd, I'd need a mo Oh, is it the Mew or is it the Jirachi? Are you ready? I think it's the Jirachi. Shining Jirachi. Nice, dude. One pack, one Shining Jirachi. I hate how this Pokemon game made it so easy. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how how difficult the older ones are, but we paid we played Pokemon Blue, by the way, on my Game Economist channel together a while back. We did that, and Pokemon Blue was actually more difficult.
then Sword and Shield. I was like, I was stuck in like the Team Rocket portion of the game with those teleport pads and I couldn't figure it out. I'm an adult and I couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, how did I figure this out when I was a kid, man? I must have screwed with this for hours. And there was no YouTube back then to fix it for you. So it's like, they dumbed it down. Actually, I think there was a quote from the guy who worked on the design of, of Sword and Shield, and he said something along the lines of, this game needs to feel like a mobile game. It needs to be as easy as a mobile game. I think he said that, didn't he? And I think that was, really, it was a mistake. It should be the other way around. This game should be cutting edge difficulty and complexity and still accessible for kids, you know? All right. I wish new Pokemon games were harder. Yeah, they gotta have some aspect of the game that really challenges you. And it can't just be grinding for shinies. I think grinding for shinies, people will get very bored of that. Eventually. Master, can we get a ring spin? That's right. Okay. Next up we have... Nickname is Android666. And he is op he's getting a spot in the medium. You got it. Nice to meet you. Oops. Android 666. You should have to bury your Pokemon if it dies. <laughs> Love it. Next up, we have Deej. He says, one more round of darkness. All right. Sounds good. They said people don't have much time for games, so we have to make the games bite-sized for people who can only play a few hours a day. Ah, maybe that's what I, maybe that's what I heard. Like a mobile game. We got to make it like a mobile game, guys. People don't have time to enjoy Pokemans. Bro, I'm playing my first Nuzlocke, and I have to bury my Pokemon when they die. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Ryan says, not darkness. What? Yeah, no, no, that's correct. He says right here, give me one more round of darkness. Darkness. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. I remember Pokemon used to take me weeks to complete. I completed Shield in like two days. Yeah, uh, I, I live-streamed it on my Game Economist channel, and we completed it in two days. That's correct. We were almost done. Well, maybe it was more than two days. Maybe it was like three days. We were done very quickly and with no help. Here we go. Good luck, mister. Let's see what you get. Larvesta. That's green. Three, four. Oops. Feebaz. That's green. You didn't say Sneep. Sneep. Three, four. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Eevee is worse. How many boxes of Vivid? I have a bazillion boxes of Vivid that I have not ordered. Yeah, pre-ordering, by the way, guys, is a waste of your money. I guess it doesn't matter, though. So for me, it does matter. Let me put it like this. To operate this channel, I have to have capital. And if I take my capital and I tie it up in a pre-order... Uh, I'm stuck. I can't do anything anymore. And it's not like I get the product any faster. So there's no point in pre-ordering for me. For you guys, maybe it doesn't really matter to you guys, though. So if you guys were pre-ordering, maybe it's all the same for you. But for me, it actually is a big deal. Because I need that, that money to get other cards moving. Which version of the PS5 are you going to grab? Uh, I don't know if I'll be buying PS5 for a while. By the way, are they available? Like, aren't they sold out like crazy? I imagine they'd be sold out like crazy. Oh, man. I saw Demon Souls. Demon Souls looked pretty fun. I saw the uh, gameplay for it. It looked really high quality. PC Master Race. All right, these, you got the Galarian Stunfisk, which I know that's what you were simping for. Place that over there. Now we have Aquadesu. What's up, man? Hey, mister, give me that number one spot in the medium. You got it. Is it AKA Desu? Maybe I've been reading it wrong all this time. Yours truly, Travioli. Two spots in the medium. You got it, Travioli. Travioli. Oh, the medium's almost full. We got one, two, three, four spots remaining. Mister, I forgot my name in order for small and unifieds is Snow Walruses. 
Sounds good. So that will be a snow walruses, huh? Let me refresh PayPal's. So this is fine. You know, we had to stop using Streamlabs, but it's almost like nothing changed. All right. Uh, and that's that's uh, snow walruses right there. One spot in the small and two rounds of unis. All right. Okay, we're going to increase you from 12 to 13. There we go. Now you got your two spots. How can you pull Rainbow Marnie? That's a great question. You'll want to order Sword and Shield base set. has Marnie in it. Okay, he says... Unis. Two rounds of unis. One and two. He says... The KS, what? Man, this makes it so... Much easier to order, says Akudesu. Does it actually? Would you say this is easier? You're saying Streamlabs was actually more complicated? Toss this over here. I liked Streamlabs better, said Sebflo. Hmm. He says, this is faster. Well, the wait time tonight is very short. So if you're talking about wait time, yeah, the wait time tonight is short. That's because a lot of people are going to have to relearn how to, how to do this. I need some Wick Mommy Milkers. Tell them their donations, and we get packs as gifts. Oh, what? <laughs> I'll tell them that. The packs are just gifts. Sneep. Sneep. I cannot figure... If I cannot figure out PayPal, unfortunately, I cannot order my cards for you. I'm sure you can see our dilemma. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you used to do, maybe you used to do credit cards in the past. Because, again, I know some people, all they, they used credit cards. Some people were saying that you can do credit with the PayPal. So I don't know if you're able to figure that out or not. But uh, I'm really liking this, actually. I'm liking having it all go through PayPal makes a lot more sense from a, an accounting point of view. But I would, I would like you to be able to um, order some cards. If, you know, it would be possible to send a cashier's check in the mail. That would actually be possible. Uh, but it would be so, like, it's not really as cool as doing it live. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Okay, so GMAX says, I use my bank, bank card. Just connect your bank account, or you could even use PayPal credit. Hmm. Do you think CGC will always be an underdog as far as value, says Dustin? I don't know. That's a great question. Um, CGC seems to be a pretty tough grader, in my opinion. So I think if CGC simply changed their label, they could actually do pretty good. Because a lot of people are tired of the wait time at PSA. I got to say, though, that label is just so clearly much more ugly than PSA and BGS. BGS label, by the way, BGS has the best label. The black label is very hard to obtain, but it looks way cooler than any other label. And then in second place, after the black label, I would say PSA's red label. It just looks really good. It always has. Let me show you why I like it. You know, they're real simple with their logo. They got their certification number. You know what I like about this? The way the 10 is almost hidden, it lets you, it gives you the information you need without distracting from the card. You go, ah, the card. And you go, what is this, a 10? Ah, nice, it's a 10. You know what I mean? But you don't have to have this huge 10 on the, like, w imagine if imagine if they wrote it like this. Bro, it's a 10. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't want to see that. And, and maybe people like that for the 10s especially, but imagine that was a 9. Uh, it would be so annoying to look at that and always think about the 9, you know what I mean? Uh, but even that just, it just looks ugly to me, to be honest with you. I like the way PSA has a little small little 10 in there and all this information. This is a ton of information right here. Lots of information here. Uh, no subgrades. I suppose PSA could one day do subgrades. I don't know if I care about subgrades. I'm actually able to eyeball the card myself and know what's wrong with it. So in almost all cases, not every case, but almost all cases. Let's get these packs open. You ready? So this is for Snow Walrus. Not a big fan of the color blue. That's the other thing. We just tossed the Zerka tree. God damn it. <laughs> Here we go. So, Dratini. That's a cute Dratini. What else we got? 
That's a cute pull. By the way, Unified Minds, guys, has Hyper Pull Dragonite in it. If you didn't know, there's a Dragonite in this set, and he looks fancy. It's got Dragonite. It's got Tyranitar. It's got Mewtwo Mew. There's a lot of great cards in here. I believe it has Latios in here. Yeah, Latios is in here. Here's a Hollow Celebi. The CGC cards with subgrades don't look as cringe, in my opinion. We got Dupider. Thoughts on the color purple? Purple was often associated with, like, royalty, and one of the reasons why they used it in the past is because they actually were able to create the dyes to make the color purple, but it was an expensive dye to create. Uh, but so you would see it occasionally, but it would rarely make it into like a flag or anything like that. You'll notice, guys, flags have a pretty consistent um, few colors in them, like red and blue, right? And that's because back in the day, it was really hard to make certain dyes. But yeah, purple was associated with royalty and power, and it was it was expensive to make that dye back then, but they were actually making the, the color purple. I'm, I, I like the a dark purple. I like all dark colors, honestly, but purple's all right. I'm more of a fan of red. Red and black. You know what red and black makes me think of? Enemy. I like that. I don't know. I like that feeling. It's got a, when you combine them together, it's got, a, it's got a particular feeling. When you have just black, it's kind of like, you can associate that with all kinds of things, like a, like a black turtleneck, some guy sniffing his own farts, right? So it's totally different there. Same with red. If it's, if it's just red by itself, you can associate that with all kinds of things. But when you put them together, it looks spooky. I like them together. Okay, so Snow Walrus, that was uh, two really cold rounds. I'm sorry, mister. <laughs> Snow Walrus, really cold round. You did great on the break point, not so great on the unis. I just got back into Pokemon, and I was going over my old cards. I saw a Mega Charizard, and it was so crumbled. I'm so sad. How's it going, Cali Flip? If I sent in some Evo Hollow Reverse Sarge a few months back, uh, and they haven't gone through my order yet, Will they change the price of the grade now that the value's up? Uh, that's a great question. I'm suspecting they won't. I feel like they won't because it's their own fault that they took so long. So I bet they won't. If they do, I will be very annoyed. I'll be crazy annoyed. Unis are hot. Bye, bye, bye. Devil Lucid said, hey, mister, drop some sneep, a sneep merch and also drop a Wick Mommy Milker shirt, too. That's right, we're going to get a, a Wick Mommy Milkers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't PSA in California? Yeah. Yes, they are. Let's see who's next. Yes, they are. So, after... Oh, I think a lot of stuff came in, yeah. Nerdy Noob, he says, one spot in the medium, one round of unis, I have a bag. All right, one spot in the medium. You know, I feel like I need to take a break and stand up and uh, stretch my back a little bit. Let me stand up. I'll keep talking to you guys. Oh, gosh, man. How long have we been here? We're at the 163-minute point. Uh, actually, I tell you what. Let me go to the bathroom. I'll go take a quick tinkle like I normally do. I'll be back, guys. Yeah, I got a stretch and all that. Hey, what are you doing?
Don't wait, quit the mouth. She's sleeping. You coming in here, kitty? What's it, what are we gonna do in here, kitty? Kitty, are there any snacky foods? What do we have in here? Ooh, we got sushi. Sushi. Maybe we'll have some sushis after the live stream. You should see Kitty. She just like runs right at my feet. She's like a dog almost. She wants to be in the same room. It's so crazy, man. All right. Feeling a little bit better. What do we got? So he wants also a round of unis. You got it. Next round. I'm scared to send my first edition Dark Bazaar to get graded because Callie right now with all the voting. Don't do it then. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it, mister. Keep those cards safe, man. Your card's not going to change grade just because you waited a week or a month. Yeah, feel free to wait, man. I might be doing it myself. So after the elections, I might not do any shipping for a little while. We might have a halt on shipping, and that's just to protect everyone's cards. All right, here we go. Yeah, you know what those guys are doing? They're looting. You know you're on the right side of a political idea when you're the looter, right? They're looting, man. And they loot. They loot UPS trucks and USPS trucks. And really what they're doing is they're stealing from their fellow Americans. Maybe even people who share their same ideas. But they're just straight up stealing. They don't care. It's really sad. Okay, nerdy noob. So around the time of the election, uh, there's a fair chance that you guys are going to see that I'm not shipping anything. I'll probably package everything up and get it ready to go, but I'll probably wait like maybe a half week before they actually go out. Okay, what do we got next? There's another one of those cute Dratinis. Three, four. And there's Galissapod, huh? So you pick up the Espeon Deoxys. This is really not a bad card. Imagine looting a USPS truck and getting my damn first edition Dark Charizard gem mint. Yeah, it's so, it's so wrong. You might even, who knows? You know, USPS ships for everyone, not just your political opponents. Civil, civil unrest is really, is really them just enriching themselves violently, and I, I, it does. It's not about. It's very upsetting. I, I saw it happen with the last riots, the last sets of riots and looting earlier. And uh, I actually withheld shipping for a while because I was scared we'd be affected. You know, just one box could be worth so much money to replace. So it's a sad reality. I wish we could actually, uh, actually punish people for looting, which I think in some places they tell them to just scare them away, not to actually arrest them, not to actually prosecute them and put them in jail, which I think is a mistake. Here we go. You know, because uh, stealing is stealing. That's that's all there is to it. There's no racial connotation to it. It's just stealing is stealing. It's simple. Here we go. I don't want anyone shot, by the way. He said we should shoot them. No, people should just know that they can't steal. That's all. Well, you know, if you're the business owner and it's your entire livelihood, and let's say for some chance that you actually don't have business insurance... Oh, man, I'd be standing out there with guns the whole time if it was my business. Because that's it. You're going to be robbed of your whole life right there. You're going to be robbed of, robbed of your livelihood by an angry mob. And it's like, maybe I even sympathize with your political points of views, but I have to defend what's mine. Dustin Jones, two mediums, one large. I think that fills this. Oh, no, we got one spot. Here you go, Dustin. I think they're totally justified anyways in protecting their their livelihoods. I think most people would agree with that. There's lots of uh, black business owners get affected by that rioting and looting as well, by the way. You know, in the city. Who do you think runs all those shops, all those businesses? They get affected by it. It's, it's really sad. I saw I saw an older woman and she was just like really upset and crying because her business got destroyed. I was like, Jesus Christ. He says, all my guns sank in a boat boating accident. What? Who's next? It's these. He says, the darkness, please. You got it, mister. Hey, mister, you're going to get canceled talking that way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Emily Acab is typing. 
I got three. I just got three mediums. Can you use whatever is left to close up this boss and anything left as store credit? Uh, yes. Let me go in order. I have to go in order, okay? Because if somebody ordered before you, then technically it's their spot, okay? So here we go. I would have been strapped up with the RPG if my store was in danger. Wish I could just take my Holy Grail cards myself. Oh, like fly them over there? I know that feeling. Yeah, because shipping the cards is actually, it's kind of a scary feeling. Here we go. Three, four. This is for these. Picking up Scissor V, actually. That's a good pull. This guy got to defend his store with an RPG. My uncle has a shotgun, Glock, and a pistol. Can you drop off PSA cards in person? They used to allow that, but they don't allow it anymore because of COVID. Two, three, four. That's Galarian Mr. Mime. I'm 15 minutes away and can't drop off. Shake my head. <laughs> Last pack. That's a green back as well. So tonight's live stream is probably going to be a little early. We'll probably wrap up a little early, which I, you know, I know I wouldn't want to, but we started a lot later than I meant to. So, and that'll be the main reason why. I'm trying to end at the same time. Sad that we started late, though. And, and we had all these issues. We had to figure out this PayPal stuff. So these, these. Your darkness have been cold. Some darkness booster boxes are cold. That's the truth. Yeah. Raw. Oh, this is for toaster. One round of cosmic. All right. Doing a pack battle with Tenzenberg. Okay. We got three cosmics right here. And who's this for again? This is for toaster. You always put boxes in the oven. Warm them up a little bit. Okay, right after that, we have... It's Tenzelberg. Pack battle against uh, Ryan. Okay, so let's grab these. I think I should finally become a member, Chief. You better become a member. It's 1 a.m. and I have school. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Oops. So I guess I'll open up Tenzenberg's because I'm already holding it in my hand. I would have thought they make a, a safer way for people to drop off their cards without coming into contact with them. Yeah, I suppose they could do that. He says, rig it. Rival says, I missed the Streamlabs lady. I know. I know. You can still make her talk for a dollar, by the way. You just donate a dollar and have her say whatever you want. But yeah, I miss it too. I have a box. Oh, right. He has a box. I'm so bad at this. Oh, what do we got? That's Venusaur Snivy. There we go. Have her say Coochie Man. Coochie Man. Alone Nine Tails and Whale Lord. Okay, so you're running off with the Venusaur Snivy, which isn't a bad card. It's pretty it's a pretty decent GX. What's up, Fry God? He says, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. I don't mind losing this one. Secret incoming. What the line looking like? Just got done. What's up, Christian Moss? Uh, how large is the line? You know, I used to be able to tell pretty easily with the Streamlabs, but from PayPal, it's actually much harder to know. They don't have like a, they don't have any timestamps on anything. Streamlabs did timestamps to give you an impression of when the donation came in. All right, so we have a GX versus a trainer art, which is about a tie, I'd say. So I'd say you guys are roughly tied. What do we have here? Rock rough. And... Ooh, I say it ends in a tie. What do you guys think? One coughing versus one Venus or Snivy. I think everyone keeps their cards. That's pretty pretty much a tie. The uh, actually the Venusaur Snivy. What do you think? So I, I suppose we could look it up, can't we? 
Let's have a closer examination. Let's make sure the Venusaur is not more valuable. So Venusaur Snivy, $65. Uh, there are no, none of the uh, none of the artworks for coughing are available, so let's check the completed items. He last sold for seventy dollars. Yeah, they're quite close, so we're gonna call it a tie. You get, you like the coughing? He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Mister, your dark Zard wins this battle. <laughs> Tanzenberg, where? Oh, here you are. What a beaut. And uh, the other guy, right? The other guy, who was he? Toaster. Toaster, who should also be down here. Toaster. Where's Toaster? Twin. Stars Assassin. Is this another Tenzenberg? Tenzenberg, you got two bags, mister. I don't know about that. Tristan. <laughs> Slav. Twin. Does Twin have two bags? Stone Cold Side Effects. Toaster, is he up top? All right, Tenzenberg can only have one bag. There shall only be one. He says no bag. Toaster has no bag. I gotcha. Okay. No bag for Toaster. This is why, this is the only stream that I can watch for hours. Can't explain why. It's because it's so good. We got, we got juicy cards, juicy news. A little bit of debate, a little philosophy, maybe. Just depends. We got a lot of stuff to talk about and enjoy. We've got we've got a little kitty. Kitty's pretty good. There's a lot that goes on in here. We got the Skyrim music, obviously, which is way better than any other music. And uh, we have energy drinks. There we go. I'm watching TV in London. A 60-year-old woman was decapitated. No way. In London? Or are you talking about France? No way. I'm jumping over to the news. Or is he talking about the one from France? On Valley PBS... There's been three decapitations in France in a month. Okay, he must be speaking about he must be speaking about France. Yeah, isn't that wild man? Alright. Jumping back to it, we have First Time Orderer. You can call me AAJ. Alright, we'll do that. So this is important though, okay? Every time you order from now on, you have to say my bag name is AAJ, okay? So we need three champions and two mediums, huh? Sounds good, mister. See you later, Pranav. AAJ. Let's get that medium. I think the medium's full now. So this means you will go into the next one as well, okay? So you're going to have one spot in this round and one spot in the next round. And let's go ahead and open up these cold champions path packs. They're always cold, except for when they're extremely, extremely hot. <laughs> That's exactly how it goes. Except for when they're extremely, extremely hot. One, two, three, four. I was in the mood to play sword, but I left my switch in my sister's room and I locked it. And locked the door. Aw. Oh. Why are we here? Just to suffer? I will be back soon. How long is the stream going to be? Well, usually we go until about 4.30. It's 3 a.m. right now. So an hour and a half at least. Road on bike and Marnie, huh? Last pack. What do we got? Yeah, we're certainly not over. Yeah, that's fire energy. Yeah, look, our crowd's much smaller tonight. 300 viewers, man. I think there's a few things that affected it. No catchy title, no clickbaity title, kind of a boring title. It plays a bigger role in views than you think. And then uh, 
no giveaways legitimately. The only thing we have is the usual nightly giveaway. A lot of new people don't know about the nightly giveaway. And, um, yeah, it's interesting. Much smaller tonight, huh? At least all effing love. Look at this beedrill. It just shows you how the uh, title plays such an important role. What happened to all the bots? I know. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. That guy would come back in. He's like, 300 viewers, and this is all the chat is. Must be all bots. We opened up the three champions path. Unfortunately, just the Dreadnought and the Fire Energy. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. The Marnie Hollow was a bleed error. You can have it if you want. What's a bleed error? Is that where the whole card is, like, supposed to be hollow or something? Doesn't look like... Oh, I see. I mean, you can have it if you want. I, I don't think that modern error cards are as good as vintage error cards. I don't think it's exciting. There you go. You also need some Charizard to ask the pick. That's true. That is true. People click on the Charizard, the Zared. AAJ. Hey, mister, I hope you and your wife had a great day today. Well, we barely saw each other. <laughs> like usual, we worked all day. And uh, she's asleep by herself, and when she wakes up, I'll still be working. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's crazy, because when we were young and in college, we spent our whole day together, like literally the whole day. We took the same exact classes. We were on the same curriculum, so we just took all the same classes. And uh, we literally spent the whole day together, every minute. Now it's like we barely see each other for two minutes. You need a face like this for the title? Dude, I'm so tired of that. Oh, the, the dumb, like, O face. So tired of the O face. Tell me you guys are not tired of the O face. I've been tired of the O face for, like, years now. And I've only been watching Pokemon content for, like, a year and a half. The O face is so annoying because it's, like, I don't know. It's not good clickbait. That's all I have to say. It's not the clickbait that makes me go, I want to watch this. It's the sort of clickbait that makes me go, I definitely don't want to watch this. Landing on nine. It's very uncreative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's kind of like a, co a, a lowest common denominator kind of thing, you know? Okay, Akudesu. Tensburg on two, and three, and four. Cheese on five. New Jan on six, seven, and eight. Josh Luckett, Hussman on ten, Android on eleven, Android on eleven. That's like his first order over here, guys. He actually said I'm new. Wow, brand new, picking up a spot in the medium, huh? All right. When's when's my birthday? My birthday is in April. Oops, spelled that wrong. Android. Woohoo! Woo! I did it! Mom! Get in here! Quick! Who's Husband says, I was so close. I know. There's always the guy here and here that were very close. Whoa, kitty, I did not even see you. I had to run you over, kitty. Are the cards you write on worthless? Not to me. So to me, they're worth the whole booster box. Oops. Wow, that chair is squeaky, dude. What are the options for the booster boxes? You know, everybody asks that. I had to have, like, a list. Uh, but the, um... Here are your options. Your options are eight packs of champions, six packs of hidden fates, eight packs of shining legends, darkness ablaze box, rebel clash box, sword and shield box, Japanese legendary heartbeat box, and, uh... Steam Siege. Cream Siege, really. Get yourself some of that good Cream Siege. The hottest set. You know, Cream Siege went up by like 20 bucks already per box. Mister, open some personal Evos. Oh, you could do six packs of XY Evolution. I forgot about that. So XY Evolution is also an option. All right, speaking of which, so... AAJ, you're on this one as well. Here you go, AAJ.
think I'll go with the darkness box. Okay. We'll just get that right now, guys. That's the sound of my chair. I need oil. Merp. Oil. <laughs> w40. Is it WD40? I think it's WD40. I'm going to throw your card away. By the way, I'm a perp. He is owed two things. That's the spooky sounds. Happy Halloween. By the way, when is Halloween? Is it today? Is it tomorrow? Three beheadings in France. Man, you would think that they're not even a first world country anymore. That's, that's just... I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. You guys think that after Macron, the French people will elect a nationalist? Or do you think they'll go with another, another globalist leader? That's what Donald Trump says he is. He says he's a nationalist. I know Merkel and uh, Merkel and Macron are definitely na uh, globalists. Is Boris Johnson considered more nationalist leaning? I mean, the UK did leave, and then they voted in Boris Johnson. Remember, the newest beheading was in a church, and he killed three other people. I think it was a total of three people. Yeah, it happened, by the way, in a Catholic basilica. Catholic basilica. Boris is a nationalist. Toss this over here. All right. You ready? Only Charizards. Oh, man. Just trying to get comfortable, man. I do way too much sitting. I can't wait for that standing dust to arrive. That's green. Place is, uh, yeah, we'll leave this here. Here's a white back. You miss Etika? I miss Etika. I'm, I'm really sad that he committed not alive. Send a scorch. I did order a standing desk. I ordered a workbench for like your garage. And I'm going to place it over here in this nice spot that I cleared. You know, sad. It feels so much roomier in this tiny condo with the spot that I cleared. And it's not going to feel so roomy because that workbench is going to come in and take that whole spot. So it's going to go right back to being cramped once it arrives. Kind of sad. But I'm going to be using that to get my shipping done. And that means I'll have more time to stand up. And uh, we might even try to use that table for a little bit standing up live stream moments. So I keep opening cards while standing. I don't know how that will work, though. I don't think it will truly work because in order to do the live stream standing, uh, the my hands have to be right here in front of the screen. And I think that that won't work properly, but we'll see. Green, green. You have no, no sympathy for those who commit suicide? I have sympathy for them. Capture energy. Nice. I think it's a disease, you know, when you reach the point where you're suicidal i think it's like a disease and uh it's sad especially if you're young you know there's people they try to talk about euthanasia people who want to voluntarily commit suicide painless suicide before they die from dementia or something like that uh and that's a controversial subject and i don't know how i feel about that i'm still thinking about it but uh you know you're young he's actually successful too by the way etika's successful to commit suicide is a disease come on it's a disease of irrationality. And uh, usually the cost of being irrational is you lose your job, you lose your relationships, you lose your money. There's all kinds of, uh, but but losing your life, that's like, that's pretty serious. You can't fix that, obviously. Or can you? Do, 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 do. Zared, you did it. You're Zared Rich. Oh, Rose Hyper. So you got the Energy Ultra Rare and the Rose Hyper. 
Is that good? Maybe that's bad. I think I'd rather have the Zared, but you know, it's not over. We might pull the Charizard still. Still got a shot. I think the shot's much smaller now. We got Vigavolt. Green. You got the other Charizard. Charizard V is pretty good. Here's Salamence V. Quick question, I'm new here. Why do you look for green or white code cards? The green code cards indicate that there's nothing special in that pack. So we can quickly decide that they're not valuable. Heatran and green. Okay, so we'll get this book off the table. Congratulations on your win. You got lots of cards to, to look at now. <coughs> Excuse me, just a little Corona virus there. He says, I never knew that. I know, now you know all the secrets. Now your inner eye has aw awoken. He says, dude, this box has a ton of hits, does it? It's got no uh, ultra rare Pokemans. So let's take a quick let's take a quick look at it. So obviously the best hit actu actually is this Charizard right here. Um, Salamence, Vickavolt, Grimmel Snarl, Full Art, Grimmel Snarl. The Scissor V is okay. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Senna Scorch, and then Rose is probably around here, and so is the Capture Energy. Hold on. Probably in this order? I think it'll be in this order. The problem for Rose is it's a dude, actually. I don't know how people feel about the dudes. The Scissor, if it, if it can grade well, the Scissor's good. These two are solid. Capture Energy is one of those trainer cards. Nobody really pays that much for the trainers. It's really sad, but so is this guy, and he's not a sexy girl, a sexy goyle. And then we got Salamence and Vickavolt. They're all right. Uh, we have an, we have this Grimmel Snarl, too. He's all right. These VMAXs, I'm not so sure what they'll be worth. I don't think they're worth a lot more than the V cards because they're too common. They just show up all the time. So really, this Charizard's the hot pull. All right, mister. Very good. Let's get this into your bag. His name... Oops. Stay logged in. Uh, it was... Something 666. Why did I take the card down and throw it? <laughs> I don't remember now. I don't remember his name now. Android 666. There we go. And did he have a new bag? I don't think he did. All right, there we go. Sweet. I guess Champion's Path, because they're all white codes, Vivid Voltage has amazing rares in spots or reverse hollows. Have a good night. You have a good night. What are the good hits in Sword and Shield base set? What are the good hits in Sword and Shield base set? Um, I'm not sure. It's the Ma Voodoo jo Mama Juju cards. Those are the best ones. Okay. I think I need to refresh. That's my next step. Jump over here. How many spots left in the small? Small is about halfway done. Okay, we have Hussman. Hussman, do you want... Would you like three spots in the medium, Hussman? What would you like to do? So glad I saw you in my feed the other day. Been in your stream every day. It's so relaxing. Oh, thanks, man. I just want to know if I buy now. It won't run tonight because I'm going to go sleepy time. Uh, there's pretty much no wait time, so you go for it if you want. It, it's a little slower tonight because people are having to learn this new method. You know how it is. People don't like to learn. But also, we're, we're missing everyone who would have made a, a credit card purchase. So it's just shorter because there's fewer people buying. Wisconsin GOP says, Hackers stole $2.3 million intended for Trump re-election effort. Wow, dude. That's, that's a pretty large theft. He says, yeah, knowledge sucks. So Hussman isn't here. I do remember Hussman mentioning that he wanted store credit. I'm going to go ahead and write him down for store credit. Burp. So Hussman. Oh, here it is. Store credit, please. Don't have time for the medium. Okay, so that would be 27. That's a lot of Charizards. I know, right? Oh my god, that's way too loud. I think it is time for the WD-40 to get cranked out at this point. I've been using this chair for like many years now. 
Open personal Evos. All right, I'm opening all my Evos. <laughs> it's crazy. X, Y, Evos. Mike says, yes. I want all the Evos. I will open up three Pokemans. Any vintage packs soon, says Evan Shea. Uh, nope, no vintage packs. However, I have something I'm going to be making. You guys are going to like this. I'm going to be making custom booster packs where you actually have to open them. Like, they'll actually be wrapped up. And uh, they'll be designed. I don't know how exactly I'll design them, but it'll be cool. So, it'll be like this. You'll probably get, like, a chunk of common uncommons. And then you'll probably get some hollows, some reverse hollows. And then I will probably... I have this huge box of pulls up here. Just got tons of them, right? So I just got tons of these guys, and I, I honestly do not have time for them. Some of them are not worth grading as well. So that's the other issue. And what I'll be doing is I'll be putting them into these packs for... I'll, I'll, I'll probably... I haven't decided. So I could go another route. I could go a route where I only put mint cards in the in the packs. I haven't decided. But uh, so this will go in. So every pack gets one of those. But then my other idea is we put in a rocket card into every pack. And I mean like an old vintage rocket card. And then I'm gonna, I'm thinking wrap it up in black construction paper and then tape it shut with a Team Rocket sticker and I'll call them custom rocket packs or something like that. So I was thinking something fun like that. I don't know what the price will be. Cheap probably. Depends, I don't know. So like it could, uh, it depends on, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to strike a balance. $2, that's right. Nobody got time for that, says Mike M. Well, they'll probably be for sale on like the Ebays or something like that. But of course, you guys could open them here too. Oh. How's the large going? How's the large going? I thought you'd never ask. Stay Tropical says, how's the large going? The large is just restarted. Whoa, what the heck? Hold on, let me close that. What the heck? I did not mean to click that. The largest reset, and it's for the Entei now. Let's go ahead and refresh the PayPal's. Somebody orders. I don't want them waiting a long time. I guess I'll go eat some sushi. I'm just kidding. I think some orders did come in. Give me a minute. So who did we do last? Okay, so the next person is... Hi, I'm new. I don't have a bag. Please label it Jet. So Jet, that's too simple of a name. Um, I could do Jet 69 maybe. Or Jet 420, but it can't just be Jet. It's too simple of a name. He wants a set of Darkness Ablaze. All right. Darkness Ablaze. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, just five. And two rounds of Unified Minds. All right, Jet 69 then. Wow, that's really noisy. These chairs, man. How's it going, Jacob? So what would you guys like to talk about tonight? Any interesting news? What's going on in your lives? Oof. Are the packs straight from booster boxes or single packs? These are from uh, blisters. Sealed blisters, I should say. So they come from they come from sealed distributor boxes. Does that make sense? So these do not come from like an individual who's getting rid of his blisters. This comes from a real, this comes from a sealed product. Life is pretty boring. Duck season is starting out pretty strong. Ooh, duck hunting. I used to sell exotic hard, hardwoods to guys who would make duck calls. I'm on crunch mode with homework. Crunch mode. You better get to work. COVID-19 spread in Europe. That's right. They're shutting down again. You know, we're having the elections here in the U.S., and the media is talking about how horrible all the COVID cases in the U.S. are. And it's not just here, though. It's, it's over there in Europe, too. It's, it's not like some isolated incident where we uniquely got hit by COVID. Uh, the whole world is struggling with it. And I heard they're shutting down Germany and France 
They're doing a, like a temporary lockdown or something like that. How's it going, godly Choji? He says, imagine having COVID-19. I know, right? <laughs> All right, we're opening this for Jet69. Who am I voting for? Uh, definitely, definitely Sleepy Joe Biden. <laughs> How are you feeling now, Cheese? Oh, that was a question for Cheese. That wasn't for me. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Trunk for president. Hey, mister, you check out the Black Friday for Target. Oh, no, I haven't. Is there anything interesting? I did find out I had quite a few first edition Team Rocket cards that I didn't think I had, which is pretty cool. Send them this way, Hunter. I'm a big fan of Team Rocket. They're my favorite set. Dealing with strep throat for the first time ever. I'm in my 30s. That sucks. My seven-month-old twins got COVID in my wife this week in Ohio. Somehow, I tested negative. Yeah, weird. Uh, that happened with my uh, my brother-in-law. His parents, my my uh, my in-laws, they both got COVID, and he never did. Really weird, huh? France just had a terror attack where three people were stabbed to death and two beheaded. Yeah, I heard about that. That's really terrifying. It's really terrible. Woo! You guys ever seen a picture of the Eiffel Tower in France? The Eiffel Tower in France now, it's got all this security around. It's got like these big uh, cement pillars. It's got glass walls. I think there's a metal gate too. And they had to put all that up to discourage terrorist attacks on the Eiffel Tower. How about that? I thought, wow. It's crazy to think there was a time when they didn't have any of this here. Put this over here. All right. Unis. Let's see what happens with the unis. We've got Wimpod. It's another green. Three, four. Turtoga. I've been going out and working and haven't gotten COVID. Guess I'm just lucky. It's Coochie Man. He's just built different. Three, four. Oogsy. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, I'm the Oogsy Man. What do we got? There's a reverse hollow peeps at you. One of my family friends that lives in rural Queensland, Australia, got a blood test last week and they found antibodies of COVID. Has not been has not been to a city since December. It's been around. Yeah, I, I exactly. COVID's traveling. COVID is tra it actually makes me wonder, should you should you be shutting down your whole economy? There's so many young people who get the uh they get the the, the disease and it's not so hard for them. It's kind of like just being ill with the flu and it's really just those who are at a higher risk like the elderly and those with uh, heart problems and diabetes those are the ones who are really struggling but it's like can't they be the ones that go into lockdown and the rest of society kind of moves on and goes back to producing goods and having jobs and running businesses heat train rapier pikachu all right, and that was for Jeremy Tierney. Jeremy. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Just a new generation of the flu for the new generation that is growing at a crazy rate. Been working nonstop since COVID. I've been working nonstop. <laughs> did you lose your sense of taste or smell when you were sick? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, all that happened was I coughed for a long time. I occasionally still have a cough or two. He says, any advice for grading to 4K? Uh, no, I don't have any advice on that at all. My sister is pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. Oh, very good, apocalyptic. <laughs> One medium, mister. You got it. Uh, I don't know who you are. I know you go by another name. Hold on, let me see if I can find it earlier. All right, so just remember, you got to tell me your name each time or else I'm going to go with your real name, okay? So you got you got to tell me what your nickname is. Okay. And who's after that? We have Travioli, one spot in the small, one in the large. All right. Oh, my God, the squeak on this chair is way too loud. In the small and one in the large. It's 
spot four in the large. It looks like I put you on nine. I'm sorry, mister. Watch four be the winning spot. No, I'm just kidding. I work fast food and haven't had any cases at my store. Do you think Gen 1 is used too often? Used too often for what? I also got two spots in the small in case you missed it, says Jet. Did I? Hmm, that's weird. Five Evos and lift ship my stuff's Mr. Man. Uh oh. Uh, we don't use Streamlabs for making payments anymore. So you can't do that, okay, mister? Let me just reread that. Yeah, you're right. Two spots on the small. Sorry about that. Found you the other day in my recommended and I've been watching you every night since. Woohoo! Been having an awesome time just hanging out. Just Thank hanging out. Right, mister. Oh, thank you very much, mister. Mister! You know, we haven't had a bunch of kids come in here. Who are we going to tease? We need some little kids to pop in so we can have some fun, man. I think it's just adults right now. Mister, where's the free stuff? The channel doesn't say free stuff, does it? It says changes to how you order cards, right? And then all the little kids said, oh, I'm not going to order cards. <laughs> I don't have mom's. I don't have mom's credit card after all. <laughs> so Dark Knight, he's ordering a round of base set. I'm 12. <laughs> How's it going? We got Rhyhorn. Green. Wooloo. Yeah, man, that's a, that news in France is pretty sad. I feel like France has just had way too many terrorist attacks. Far too many. It's like a... I don't know. Wow, those were all cold, mister. All cold. I am so sorry, Dark Knight. I apologize. Sometimes the cookie crumbles that way. Steven says, will you ever accept payment in Bitcoin? Um, I, I could. Um, I just don't uh, use Bitcoin for anything, I guess. Maybe if... You know, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, I don't think I could. I don't think I could. I mean... Is, is there a really good reason to order things in, in Bitcoin rather than dollar? One million dollar Mewtwo Mew, Rainbow Rare? That's right. Okay, what's next? Somebody ordered on these Streamlabs, didn't they? Turtle Man, what's up, Turtle Man? Let's take a look at his donation history real fast. Okay, so you were doing uh you were doing PayPal's anyways. So just just a reminder, Turtle Man, we're doing everything directly on PayPal these days. And that's because I got an email from Streamlabs and they said, Hey, feel free to keep using our service, but you have to use it for donations. And they said you can't really run a business off of Streamlabs. I was like, oh, <laughs> no problem. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but yeah, we're using Streamlabs for donations only. You can still send like a $1 message and, and talk, talk, dir talk dirty or something. I don't know. But now we use a PayPal link and you'll write a nice little PayPal message to me explaining what it is you're ordering. It's basically the same thing. Nothing's really changed. So he says, five Evos and live ship my stuffs. All right. That's a big order. One, two, three, four, five. Five Evos. Night, night, mister. I'm going to go watch your Pokemon Blue playthrough. Ooh, I ought to do another one. I ought to do a new playthrough sometime. Do you guys like that? What if we did a Pokemon Blue playthrough? What if I cracked open a box of, like, Team Rocket or Fossil or something like that? And I sold the packs one at a time while we played Pokemon Blue. Think anyone would open it? He says, do Pokemon Yellow. Ooh, that's true. We can do Pokemon Yellow. All right, here we go. Turtle Man, some kind of impression here. Oh, wow. It was on all the cards. That sucks, man. That's a de defective pack. Doug Trio and Machamp were in there. 
It's a really expensive pack to be effective. Let's hope it didn't affect this one. Okay, looks like it was only that one. Crazy. That sucks. We've got Electabuzz Reverse Hollow. What's next? Slowbro Spirit Link. Oh, man, that was a hollow mod champ and everything. Here we go. You got white back. Magneton and Polyrath together. Perfect. That hollow Polyrath. Is that Machamp worthless? Well, it's not worthless. Actually, it's not worthless for people who like to collect in binders. Shouldn't affect them at all, actually. So let's go grab them. Yeah, it's a pretty bad indent. I usually think of cards in terms of card grading, uh, but I'm taking a I'm taking a broader view of the cards these days. Some people I didn't realize this is something I didn't realize, but there's actually a lot of collectors out there who just collect the card and they don't really have the card graded. So I'm taking a broader view of the value of cards to include uh, people who do the uh, binder collecting. Okay. Uh, that was a little bit of a tough round, I'd say. A little bit of a tough round. Did you stop grabbing the Pikachu? Well, he's going to take all the bulk in this case. And uh, let's see, Turtle Man. Turtle Man, are you up top, Turtle Man? He might be up top already. I know your bag was getting pretty thick. I do that, binder collecting. Yeah, exactly. I've been kind of been figuring out a lot of people do binder collecting. Okay, let's put this in here. One of, my, one of the YouTubers that opened up Vivid Voltage got a bunch of crimped cards. Good thing his Amazing Rares didn't get crimped. Will the Rocket Custom Packs have a dark card non-first edition? Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing precisely that. Having having uh, actual Team Rocket cards, vintage, in each pack. Just maybe one per pack. And, and you know, just to, it'll be a little fun thing, I think. Binder collecting is for peasants. I don't know, man. What set did that reverse hollow Pikachu come from? Uh, XY Evolutions. Yeah, it came out of XY Evo. I want a first edition Gym Heroes pack. Yeah, I've only got one box of, of uh, Gym Heroes. Okay. I got this nice little box here. Should I use it? Yeah, let's use it. I'm going to use this nice little box to ship your cards. Okay, I'll go ahead and mute the mute the phone so you can't hear the tape. It's really loud. All right, it's all typed, all taped up. Does sealing your card pre-COVID increase value dramatically or not in your eyes? Sealing my card? I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. Do you mean grading? Maybe it means grading. Oh God, my computer's running so slow. All right, there it goes. Come on. Oh, Jesus. USPS postal rates have changed again? Jesus, man. They're just changing their postal rates all day. There it goes. What was the last pre-release you purchased? Pre-release? I don't think I've ever purchased a pre-release. 
All right, go ahead and take that, take it off. All right, we got a fresh new label on, beautiful. What is your favorite card and most expensive card? Dark Magneton, and my most expensive one is Shining Charizard from Neo Destiny. I'll be right back, I'll go take a bite of something. I'm gonna go take a chomp out of crime. Kenny, what do you think about that? Okay. All right, all right. Mr. Open your Japanese packs on the table. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> Let's see, jump over here. He says, I think I paid for a Champion's Path pack that you never opened. Really? Really? That's interesting. Let's find out about that. Okay, so we're jumping down here. I'm new. I don't have a bag. Please label a jet. Two, tar two rounds of unified minds. Darkness ablaze. Pack of champions path. I don't know, mister. Sounds fishy to me. I think I'm going to have to keep it for myself. Let's see what you get, jet. Hopefully the Charizard. Ah, it's a cold pack. Sorry, mister. Woo! Good old champions. Always worth a shot, though, in case it does. Eventually it does. Sorry about that, Jet. So, whose turn is it next? Hussman, he says, one set of Sword and Shield, Japanese Legendary Heartbeat, one set Darkness Ablaze, and 10 Champions Path. Can we do it five at a time? If we hit the Zard, we stop. Um, I suppose I could do that for you. Is it because you're hoping to sell the packs back? That seems a little sus, doesn't it? That's what I warned you guys about. I'm telling you, people pull the Charizard and then they try to sell the rest of the product. Always gotta try, just in case. That's true. So let's get the Legendary Heartbeat. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm actually kind of glad tonight was a little slow because, as I said earlier, I only got like an hour of sleep. <laughs> I have not slept. In fact, after this, I might as well just go to sleep. Set of Darkness Ablaze. All right, and then we'll do the Champion's Path right afterwards. Oh, you're getting Ultra Prism again. I think I, think I might have gotten a little bit. Sneep. Sneep. Boring. I hate this. I was looking at your prices and I read that. What? Sleep stream. That's right. Sneep. Let's start with the legendary heartbeat. Yeah, I can actually feel how tired I am. I'm pretty sleepy. <laughs> Any reason for doing this stream so late? Why not stream during the day? Um, it's the late night stream. That's why. We're the late night stream. We could change it. We could probably make it earlier if I wanted to. The thing is, my wife goes to bed at about 11 o'clock. That's when she goes to bed. So I can technically spend time with her all the way up to 11, at which point she has to sleep. And then I get this done while she sleeps. When do you normally start? I start at 6 bazillion a.m. Here we go, we got Colossal. So when do you sleep? I sleep in the middle of the day. We got Dialga. How much? How much for Burning Shadows? Oh, there's two Burning Shadows, right. Uh, there's no price on them right now. Do you give away the cards you get? Oh, I do. I give them all to you. While she's at work. Uh, I could do it while she's at work. She's at work early in the morning, and a lot of you guys are still at work, and um, 
in my opinion, this is more of a night stream. You know, I've never really tried running the stream every day during like regular work hours, but it definitely feels like more of a night stream, you know, because people get off work and they have dinner and then they want to relax. And this is one of the ways you can relax. But if you're still at work, how are you going to wait an hour in line and wait for your cards to be open? You know what I mean? You can't really do that unless you're like somebody living at home all day. But people who live at home all day probably don't have a lot of money to open up Pokemans. So daytime stream is not really as good as a nighttime stream. If I was to buy some packs... How long would it be before I could watch you open them? Well, the wait time tonight is pretty short, so maybe about 15 minutes. What does the four next to the coming soon on Team Up mean? Uh, that's just a little note for me to make sense of how I ordered them. Ooh, look at this Dialga. You will make big bucks with Shiny V-Star. What? I don't want big bucks. I want small bucks. Okay, Husman. That's your legendary heartbeat and your darkness of balls. Now, you also order 10 packs of Champions Pack. Good luck, mister. Got a fresh box right here. Hey, can you see me? Hold on, let's see. Nah, you can't really see me. That's too bad. TCG player. What? Wow, I should just copy that. Copy that. That's it. I'm selling the Burning Shadows for $20 each. Can you win for free or, like, join for free? Um, that's a good question. I wonder if you can. Toss it over there. No Shave November. Okay, we got your 10 packs. That's a lot of packs, mister. Okay. Woo! Okay, so enjoy this epic mind sweep by Husman. Uh, just so you guys know, it's the next box that has the charge art in it. I'm <laughs> just teasing. We don't know until we know. Let's find out what happens. I think he said he wanted five at a time. Skip. <laughs> he kind of sell the other five online. Here it goes. Next box is reserved for Mike, you said? That's right. <laughs> uh, oh, how am I doing this? There we go. Corsola V. Wow, so nice. I know what's going on. I'm trying to avoid the uh, code. A vow of chastity. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have already broken that. No way, it's not November yet. I don't see how I won't break it, though. Have you seen Quip? Mm-mm. Definitely a cool channel. You're a good person. Wow, you made that decision so quickly. What if I'm actually secretly a terrible person? And this is all a front. All right, pack number five. Pack number five. You hardly know me, mister. <laughs> Metal Energy... All right, <laughs> as expected, the first five packs are very tough. Let's see what the next five packs are. Keep going, terrible pulls. More like typical pulls for this set. This set is so tough, dude. This set is basically all cold packs, except when you pull the Dreadnought and the two Charizards. Uh, and the Gardevoir. I don't know how I feel about Alcremie. She's kind of making me creamy in my pants. That just went over 300 people's heads. That's right. Okay, pack number one. What is this? Look at that. Hopefully you don't get a Charizard with that on it, huh? That's some kind of error. Imagine you get the Charizard and it has that on it. No, 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 no. That would suck. Oh, man, I thought you had something. It's Gardevoir VMAX. All right, now it's all worth it. That's the most you've ever spent on a girl. Next pack. Oh, it's a white pack. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, my God. It's the error card. Great. It. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the... Uh... 
Oh my God. There was a guy who bought $1,000 worth of this day one and only got two shiny Zards. <sighs> Potion. Actually, if you do the math, he did fine then. He actually wins in that scenario. Because even if he sells them raw, he gets all his money back. And I assume he got other cards as well. So he actually did well. All right. That's going to be it. Hussman. Hussman. Let's go get your bag. God King Lunar. It's Bird GMAC. Wait, do we not have a bag for you? Weird. Did I put you up top? Oh, I did. I put you up top for some reason. Your bag's not a... Uh, it's like a brand new bag. So these three cards, huh? It's a tough set, man. He says, I saw another error card. Can you please save it for me? Oh, um, okay. Yeah, let me go find it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you... Oh, here we are. I didn't realize it was a topic of interest for you. My bad. All right. I kind of ruined the other one, didn't I? I, if I? If I knew you valued them, I would have saved it rather than scrunching it. I scrunched it, mister. No problem. Thank you, mister. Thank you for letting us see those poles. I have a place this over here. What's next? I think we need to refresh. Wait time's pretty short tonight, guys. Chubby Pop Chaser says we got something from Chubby Pop Chaser. What? <laughs> what? Chubby Pop Chaser. I'm assuming you want four rounds of hidden. Is that what he wants? Let me know if you want four rounds of hidden. Oh my God. People actually collect the error cards. For the modern though? So we got Jerry and he's going in. He's going in deep enough to pay for four Yeah, I'm assuming he wants hidden fate, but he's is he here? Jerry, are you here, man? Where's Jerry? Jerry, it's your turn. My trash can collects swords. Mm, toss it over there. Alright, I don't want to open these until he confirms it. Where are you at, mister? Mister? Mr. Jerry, Chubby Pop Chaser. Oh, here he says, wasn't going to do that, but being you pulled them out, let's do that. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Because I'll do whatever you want, mister. Yeah, was there something else you were going to order? Because I'll do anything, uh, you know. Yeah, what we, what we, you make up your mind. Sounds like you, uh, you're sure you want the hibs. He's like, all right, I'll take the hibs. Whatever you want. Why is there no Hidden Fates booster box? They were lazy. They were like, ah, I don't feel like it. Okay, here it goes. When you can, can you add me to the queue? And can I add one more Champion's Path for my store credit? Oh, we can do that right now. Oh, no, we can't because there's no more Champion's Path. All right, yeah, so we'll do that right after this. After stream, how much longer do you stay up for? basically the entire day. So the reason I got one hour, it was about two hours of sleep is because yesterday I finished the stream and then I worked all the way until I fell asleep, which was for just two hours. And then I got back to the stream. So I, I worked for 22 hours yesterday. Just 22 hours. Uh, of course, I ate some, uh, uh, so it would have been probably closer to 18 to 20 hours because I did eat, uh, I had like a lunch and a, and a dinner as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I just worked nonstop. Okay, here we go. This is for Jerry Makula. You ready? 
And the weird thing is, I don't even feel that tired. I just feel like I can keep going. Like I'm sleepy, but I have energy, you know? Did you say there's no champions left? No, there's champions. I got to open some more. We've got Psydog. Swablu on the first pack, Con. We need a full art, though. Let's. Where's the full art? Geodude. He says, so you're sleep deprived. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm sleep deprived. I'll be okay, though, because I got good sleep the day before. So I'm not, like, dying. Ah, darn. Raichu GX. You got Swablu and Raichu. I must be an insomniac. No, I. when I sleep, I actually sleep pretty well. Um, I'm just... I mean, I, I woke up thinking. I think all the time. I'm just constantly thinking and uh, problem solving and thinking about work. I do work a lot. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with it a little bit. What's my favorite food? King crab legs. I love king crab legs. There you go, Jerry. Mac. Hula. Like hula hoop. Yeah, lobster's pretty good, actually. Definitely. So, what were we going to do? I can't remember. Oh, we were going to open up another box of champion. I'm a friend. He says, I'm friend of Rod Rodriguez. Remember him? Yeah, I do. More Champion's Path. We go through Champion's Path like crazy. We should just rename this channel the Champion's Path channel. People love champions. Doesn't always seem like it, but the, uh, the, the rate that you guys open these is actually pretty astounding. You're heading out? He was mad at me. I'm sorry. Tell him I'm sorry. I don't know what I did to upset him. Did he get bad pulls? <laughs> Tell him to come back and get good pulls. Sometimes people don't like me if they get bad pulls. That's something I've learned. They blame me personally. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's just RNG. And, and it's the other way, too. If somebody gets good RNG, they love me. They're like, wow, we're best friends now. <laughs> so that's that's what I've learned from doing this. People who get the bad RNG, sometimes they sometimes they take it out on me a little bit. And when they get the good RNG, I'm like their best friend. I guess it's, I guess it's just how it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Husband. He was mad at you. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, if you want, I can do two of them, Husman. You want to do two? Do I watch Trailer Park Boys? I could do Dollar Off on the last one if you want. That's up to you. I'll go ahead and open this one. He didn't get the Pokemon cards you were going to give him in the last stream. So are you saying his cards were never shipped out? Because he's got to contact me to get them shipped out. If He says, yes, do too. All right. So if he's mad because the cards never shipped out, all he's got to do is contact me. Um, there, there are some people on this. I know there's some people on this table who have not shipped out and they need to be shipped out. They're old and I can't find their address. They contacted me on discord a very long time ago, but the problem is their bag name does not match their Streamlabs name. So when I go into dis, dis I'm sorry, their, their bag name does not match their discord name. So when I go into discord and I type in their bag name, I can't find them because they don't exist. He was the dude who was saying you had a clickbait title. Don't even respond. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Clickbait title. I'm sorry. I thought, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. We actually have somebody named A-Rod, and I thought he was referring to A-Rod, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> I don't like Pokemans. OMG, I got first edition Charizard Hollow just right now. Wow, man, that's so crazy. I'm sure that's definitely true. Wow. All right, Husman, you got Venusaur on the first pack. How about the second pack? Can we get any hyper rares? Any hyper rares would be great. No, but we did get Grappalocked. All right. Grappalocked and Venusaur. Those are both unique to this set. I'm going to get him PSA. Sounds good. He wanted you to open the Japanese first edition, right? Is that what he wanted? I don't remember. Whew. 
I bet you the next pack has the Charizard. Guaranteed. 100% of the time, it works every time. I'm going to head off right now. We'll be back in a few days. Oh, sounds good, mister. And if you need to be shipped, be sure to write yourself into the shipping channel. All right, you guys ready? Instant Charizard. I'm on recommended. Oh, very cool, man. Hoosman, don't you want to see me pull this Charizard? Here we go. <laughs> ah, well. I did a little mind, mind sweeping for you guys, too. Hopefully, you guys pull the Charizard soon. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes, for sure. Are you selling those Japanese first edition packs on the Scream? On the Scream? Ah! Is that how on the Scream works? Um, I could be talked into selling them. However... I really bought them for myself to open. Been a fan since 2017. Oh, nice, man. You're talking about from, like, Game Economist? That's my other channel. That's my, my now sad, lonely channel because I don't spend any time over there. I feel bad, but I don't know. I can't I can't handle both channels. It's too much work. Show me your biggest pools. Uh, I don't have any pools. I live, I live with zero pools, sadly. I dare you will do a vid, a vid that whatever the chat box says, you have to do it. All right, I'm taking the dare. All right, so next up we have Matt Thurgood, and he says 10 Crimson Invasion. You got it, Matt. 10 Crimsons. Is there a wait? There is a short wait right now. The wait time's pretty good, actually. You know what's crazy? Um, despite people having to learn a new system and despite having it only be PayPal, we're just as busy as ever. So maybe it's not a big maybe it's not a big problem. I don't know. I have a bag, says Matt. Sounds good, Matt. Matt, what's your bag name? Is it is it Matt Thurgood? So let's get these crimsons. All right, sounds good, mister. On the score, I'm stay tropical. Sounds good. PayPal is easier, says Big T. Yeah, surprisingly, it's not complicated on this end. As long as you guys are communicating well with the messages, it's uh, pretty easy. The only thing we're missing is the sound of the uh, the lady. You know, the lady that da, 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 da. I like that. I like the sound effects. We got Hound Hour. Pack number two. What do we got on pack number two? Just pre-order Vivid Voltage Booster Box. Will it ship before the 13th? Uh, I'm not the one you ordered from, silly. Ask somebody else. You doof. <laughs> Go ask the guy you bought them from. <laughs> Hold on. Let me call up the guy you bought from. I'll ask him, my, I'll ask him for you. Three, four. Mister. Joe's car was powered by blowing. What? Fast openings. You like it? We like fast openings. This isn't even the fastest I go. On a really busy day, I go really fast. Ooh, I like the Pikachu. He is in the same style of the Chubby Cheeks Snorlax from Unbroken Bonds. All right, but we got to have a hotter pull than that. You got some packs left, though. Rangaroo. All right, we don't want these to all be cold. What do we got here? My favorite card. That one. It's my favorite. It's all done. It's all down to this one pack, man. Man, you're gonna you're gonna be mind sweeping the crimson in a second. Come on. All right, it is a white back. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding, dude. It's just a hollow. Oh, let me... Um... <laughs> Who was this for? That was for Matt. He has a lot of cold packs. Matt, let me... Um... Let me get you a free card, Matt. All right, you got this lovely Dark Ride GX. Woo! Some like it hot, some like it cold. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for your loss. That's tough, mister. Codes! Codes! 
Sound like it in the pot, nine days old. Next up, we have Jason Ortiz. Is that what you want to go by, Jason? Let's see. He says, one hidden fates. All right, Jason, we got one pack right here. Jason didn't provide a nickname, so I'm just going to go by Jason. And it's cold. Woohoo! We did it. We did it. We pulled the cold card. He says it's me, Loco Jo. Wait, are you saying that you are Loco? Are you are Jason Ortiz? Is that what you're saying? Because you gotta when you make the payment, you gotta make sure to say who you are. If I bought, could I keep the codes? Yes, you can. Actually, maybe. Um, actually, I'm worried everyone would want that. Oh, sounds good, local jail. If you do live shipping, you can have all your bulk, okay? So live shipping. What you can do is you can tell me that you're going to do live shipping for the night and then order as much as you want, and your last order can be live shipping. I'll ship the whole group out. So that would be the smartest way to do live shipping. Alternatively, you could order a bulk box. Those are $14, and I save all your bulk, including your coats, and uh, they go into a box behind me. So those are your two options for keeping bulk. Otherwise, we do bulk lists, and book list is really important because the table fills up with everyone's cards and there needs to be enough room. Loco J.O., do you need a new bag? I think he needs a new bag. Nope, you're right here. Damn, you got some fancy cards over here. You have some fancy cards. That's a Shining Mewtwo. Shining Legends Mewtwo. Okay, what's next? First time buyer, two packs of Champions Path, five packs Darkness and Blaze. Tommy Big T Exotics. Nice to meet you, Tommy. All right, let's get it together. So, one, two, three, four, five. Two packs of Champion, huh? Well, don't worry, we mind swept, so the next two are the Charizard. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> let's see. Oh, poor Mary. She went three, she went three Elite Trainer boxes deep. And, uh, yeah, she went three Elite Trainer boxes deep, man. Hey, mister, free cards. Me, 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 me. I was waiting till you got the bulk boxes back. Oh, I see. Yeah, the bulk boxes are back. There's a little bit of room right now. It's like two spots are open. I know that. Here we go. Can I have a free pack? Me, 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 me. <laughs> Let's get you all the free packs. Pack number two. I think I still showed the QR code. We got potion. Oh, man. All right, so those were cold. Let's see if we can get something hot out of the darkness. Darkness ablaze. You got the Decidueye hollow. Oh, but here's another white pack, and this will probably be hot. You ready? Usually you don't get too, oh, so hot, Tommy. First time, people who have are buying for the first time tonight are getting the hot stuff. First, we had the earlier guy who won the medium on his first try at uh, Android right here, in fact. And then Tommy pulls the Charizard VMAX on his very first round on the channel. What a terrific way uh, to uh, <laughs> start ordering cards. Very lucky, mister. Now, what you got to do, Tommy, don't buy any more cards ever again. Just walk away. Be like, I won. <laughs> it's kind of like scratchers tickets. <laughs> like, never come back. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> he says another one. He says, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Okay, I'll never touch another booster pack for the rest of my life. <laughs> no, but, uh, wow, really nice. I'm back, Mr. TCC. Took my nap. You took your nap. Now you're ready for the giveaway. Three, four. Oh, speaking of giveaway, dude, my back's killing me. I'm ready to wrap up. Is it 4.30? It's 4.11, huh? 4.11. I got M. Charizard in 10 Zation. So I was about to feel really bad for you, mister. I thought you weren't going to get anything at all. You pull a freaking Charizard out. Really nice. Let's get you a fresh bag. And, uh... 
So Tommy Big T Exotics, I think I'm gonna go by Big T Exotics. It's a pretty distinct name. And that's what shows up in PayPal for the actual title. So we're gonna go by Big, Big T's Exotics. Exotics, you got a business, Big T? You know, I read Big T Exotics, and it reminds me of when I worked for uh, my dad, and he sold exotic hardwoods. Snakes, oh, very cool. There was a wood called Snakewood. Look it up. It's one of the rarest woods in the world, one of the most expensive woods. Burmese pythons. Oh, very cool. Uh, there was a girl I was dating when I was younger, and her older sister, who was smoking hot, by the way, her older sister had one. Uh, she, well, I don't know what kind of python it was, but it was some kind of python. It was some fat, not too long, but it was real fat, and it eat like live mice. Mice. They were real crazy. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Spider says, I'm new. Nice to meet you, new. Why do I always say that? It's not even funny anymore. I just always say it now. Ball python. That might have been it. She might have had a ball python. Because it wasn't very long, but it was very thick. That sounds about right. Woo! Let's talk about what's going on in the small custom booster game. So you can see it's uh, getting pretty close to halfway full. It's $20 a spot. Here's what's in the actual game. So this Burning Shadows Alone muck, I think someone mentioned it was like $350. Is that what he said? That's from Burning Shadows, and I don't know if you're a big fan of muck. I am, but what's important here is that Burning Shadows Hyper Rares almost never grade 10s. The grade rate on the 10s is non-existent because the cards are all screwed up. They got cut wrong. So only the first edition print run can actually pull a 10. So that's a first edition alone muck from Burning Shadows, if you think of it that way. Huge box of bulk, valued at like, I don't know, it's like 90 bucks. We got Rose Hyper, Pikachu, and Raichu. This is for this is one prize, so you win both of these. We have these three fossil cards that will be sent off to grade for you. And these three fossil cards that will be sent off to grade. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six prizes in the small. And there's also, of course, one person will pull a chase card that gets you know it transfers their spot over to the large. So you don't really lose the spot. It just gets transferred. Okay, there we go. So I just wanted to explain the small there and show you what was in it. He says, oh, the small is good. That's right. It's a fancy one. It's a schmancy one. Woo. You think the price of that Charizard's finally coming down, the Darkness of Balls one? He's not quite as rare as a Hyper Pool, is he? All right, I see Loco J.O. wants three more hips. Let's go get those. It's so quiet without the robot lady, isn't it? Maybe my neighbors will be happy. <laughs> free packs, mister. All right, we're getting out the free packs. We're cracking out the free packs. Okay. I don't think you can handle this, Jason. Do the squeaking. Three hips. Sneep. Me, 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 me. I find it funny that Champions Path didn't have a Leon card, but Vivid Voltage is going to. <laughs> That's a fair point to make. Just got here. What are you doing with those burning shadows, mister? Uh, somebody gifted them to me. And uh, so now they're sitting on my desk looking like burning shadows. Somebody gifted them to me. Oh, one of my favorite cards, Magnazone. I don't know, make a trade. Who's going to trade me uh, Trade me a card? I'll give you those two packs. Who's got a card they want to trade? Fwee! I want the packs for fwee! Mister! Fwee packs! You give code? Uh, sure. The problem with giving the codes is I need to block this QR code in order to give it away. Uh, and so if I'm going real fast for the night, I can't really do that quickly. But uh, we're not too backed up right now. We're actually all caught up. We're at the end of the live stream. We're often caught up by then. Wow, so despite moving over to PayPal, things are running just like normal. It, it was actually very easy. I'm a tablet kid. You're a tablet kid. He, she, we, a tablet kid. <laughs> 
So Loco J.O. with the Mewtwo GX and the lovely Magazone. Look at this lovely Magazone. Take my Lycan Rock GX for the packs. You got it, Nick. I'm just kidding. Loco J.O. Mr. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I'll trade you a PSA 11 Charizard Zero Edition for one pack. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Is it true that the Snorlax VMAX is the strongest card with 340 HP? That's right. Mr. Me, 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 That weird brain thing says, what time do you stop for the night? We're stopping pretty soon. I am never able to stay till the end of the stream usually. Yeah, so uh, we wrap up at 4.30 a.m., which to me occurs in 12 minutes. We did start the live stream a little bit later than usual. That's because I had two problems. The first one was we had to stop using Streamlabs, which was kind of crazy because I had to come up with a new way, a new method for you guys to pay. I had to like new instructions, I suppose. And then the other one, we needed to, um, oh, right. I couldn't find the live button on the, on the app because they moved it. And I thought maybe my account was locked or something, but no, it wasn't locked. They just moved the button. I want a free pack. Free. Give me those free packs. I might have something you like for the packs, mister. Maybe Alakazam, says Tristan. Tristan. Uh, okay, so let's see. Tristan. Tristan, you say. Maybe that Alakazam. Ooh. Was it uh, the Japanese Alakazam? You're talking about J Japanese Alakazam, right? I think he might be. Team Rocket's Vault. Trollany. Wow, look at all these guys that need to be shipped. Real Kid Economist, Taz Fanboy. Dude, he's got to get shipped. Um, would I take the Secret Rare Alakazam for the two packs? I think I would do better selling them just regular action. Well, oh, man, that's a tough question. Oh, take my like and rock for jacks for the pack, says Nick. Let's take a quick look. What do you mean by that, Nick? You're off. Uh-uh. Hop off this stream, and we will chop off your head. He says, thanks for opening. No problem. Hope you're back tomorrow. This live stream goes live every single night. We have not missed a night for over three months, and it uh, goes live at pretty much the same time every night. Okay, let's see. Three packs. You're talking about this? You're going to give up this like a rock? Well, he is probably a nine, though. Dude, that's the craziest Lycanroc. Uh, he's definitely a nine. So, Lycanroc nine for Burning Shadows, huh? That's pretty close. The problem I have is uh, it would take me a long time to get it back from grading. That's actually pretty close. So, it's tempting, Nick. Nick, it's tempting, especially because those packs could be called, you know? Take a Giovanni Exile as well. Nick! He's trying to tempt me. That Lycan Rock is super pretty, says Weird Brain Thing. We do the trade, and then the Burning Shadows actually has Charizard in it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and refresh PayPal's real fast. So this is the thing I don't like about PayPal's. We have to refresh it every time in order to find out you know, if another payment has come through and PayPal is actually really slow. I think it's because the website has a lot of security. Okay, so we have first time buying, first time buyer. I go by uh, Chizzy. All right, but yeah, that's, a, I, I guess it's a kind of a unique name. I go by Chizzy. Five legendary heartbeat and live shipping. All right. All right, mister, I'll play that game. Five legendary heartbeats. Toss this over here. How close am I to being officially out of legendary heartbeat? We're pretty close. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak these. So what you'll need to do, uh, Chizzy, is you'll need to contact me on Discord right now with your shipping address, okay? So jump over to the Discord, send me a private message. Make sure I have your address. Just did it, sounds good. I sent 20 for hidden, by the way. I forgot a message. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Sounds good, mister. I wonder what that was. 
I can't believe how much legendary heartbeats we opened. Okay. Instant hyper. I'm just making sure I did miss didn't miss it. I'm Dark Knight. You haven't opened my packs yet. I went AFK. No, we we did open your packs. Unfortunately, Dark Knight, they were perfectly cold. You got all cold packs. Oh no, you're almost out of heartbeat, and that's what I want. <laughs> We've got Xerneas. Since Vivid is about to Oh, you did get a hyper. What? It's the Al Creamy Hyper Pull. Congratulations. Right off the bat, huh? Alex is crying in the shower right now. I'm sorry, Alex. So cool. What a great way to start, man. A lot of people who are purchasing for the first time tonight have gotten lucky. <laughs> first time luck. I know, like, three people can say that now. You got the Hyper. Uh, Big T got the Charizard VMAX. And then Android666, he got the Medium. That is, this is, like, the lucky night for you guys. Okay, place that in there. Why did you move off of Streamlabs? Yeah, so I, I was contacted by, uh, I don't know who it was, but I guess it was like a, one of their managers or higher up people. And he said, you know, Streamlabs really wasn't meant to be used for business. It was meant to be used for donations. He said, we can keep using Streamlabs, but he says, you know, that I should be using it for donations. I said, all right. And so I decided not to test my luck and to just keep using it because I didn't want it to turn into a confrontation. So I said, tonight, we would just stop cold. That's what I said. And what what I did was I moved over to just using PayPal directly. And it's been working fine, actually. So it's been a very easy transition. The only thing is we don't get to hear the lady talking, the robot lady. I really missed that. But I mentioned to him, I told him in an email, I said, well, this has been really nice. And I introduced people to your software. And I said, you should tell me why it is you guys can't do it. You know, I told him, is it a legal reason? Is it a tax thing? So I asked him why we can't do it this way. And uh, so now I'm just waiting for a reply. And it looks like it's not really going to affect the stream in the long run, though, because we can just actually just use PayPal. Yeah, we can just use PayPal. The other thing that is interesting, we've been totally busy the whole night. I thought tonight was going to be terrible. We only got 300 viewers. I didn't have a clickbait title. Uh, we started extra late, which is bad. And uh, which means we, we missed all the orders in the beginning of the live stream, that means. And uh, it's been fine. It's been like any other night. Yeah, it's been like any other night. Okay, here we go. This is for Chizzy. Damn PayPal fees. No, it's not the PayPal fees. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why they don't want me doing it. I asked them, actually. I said, is it a legal liability thing? Maybe they don't want the liability. You know what I mean? So they, they probably have their reason. Uh, and I'll find out maybe when he responds. If he responds. And uh, again, I, I didn't want to push them and see like, okay, well, how mad will they get if I keep going? I just I just decided we'll stop right now. And it's it hasn't been that hard, actually. Everything on PayPal is working out fine. I just read from this list on PayPal. It's virtually the same. But no, no sound effects, and that's what I'm missing. Can I get that sound effects board, man? Sound effects board, where are you at? Okay, I'm gonna use the tape. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this. All right, unmute that. The only thing that bothers me is we have no way to do credit card transactions, which I thought would really reduce the number of orders we got tonight, but so far it has not actually. The orders roll in. So we might just stick to PayPal because it's gonna make my accounting so much easier if I only do PayPal. In the past, what was complicated was my wife and I were worried about accounting because we were worried about all of the credit card transactions and the way we had to get information from Streamlabs in order to do our accounting. Um, but now with strictly PayPal, it actually, it makes sense that it would be a lot easier that way. So we might just stick to this. We might keep doing it this way. 
We might not we might not include a PayPal option. I'm, I'm sorry, a credit card option in the future. We might just do we might just do PayPal, which I, I think that will be sad for some people who don't have a PayPal account. And they don't want one, but they're not that hard to open. PayPal accounts uh, they're pretty simple. You just connect them to your bank, and then they're good to go. They're pretty easy. Now let's get Chizzy shipped. You ready? Here we are. Okay. Give me a second as I build up the label, as we do. Go ahead and post this here. You included all the information. You did such a good job. A lot of people, they, uh, they don't include all of their shipping information. Not everyone, but like maybe one out of one out of uh, seven or eight. I think that's fair to say. One out of seven or eight people. Oops, that's too far. They don't include all their information. And then I have to be like, hey, go back and finish this. They're like, oh, you can't just guess my zip code? No, I don't know your zip code. <laughs> they just leave like the city they're in. It's like, I, I'm in this city. It's like, I don't know that. I'm not from there. I don't have it memorized. Hello, mister. How much for that Zared first edition pack? Uh, I think like 25000 But let me look it up because that might be high. Let me look it up. That might be too high. Let me look it up. It's a fun question to answer. Okay, we're going to go by. There's not a lot of these left on the market at all. Here's one for 40,000 heavy. <laughs> I don't think that one's heavy though. So here's a PSA 10 first edition version of that booster booster pack for $31,000. So here's the thing. Oh gosh, my computer is going to break. Hold on. The battery popped out. I'm not allowed to have the battery disconnected these days. That's how low the battery is. I got I got to get a new laptop. Here we go. So $31,000. Oh my God, please. 26 people watching it. Here are my thoughts. I probably shouldn't open it until I at least try to grade it, right? So I should try to grade it. If it gets the nine, then maybe we consider opening it. But if it pulls a 10, it's already good. I should just leave it alone at that point. Okay, so that's probably, that's probably how we should go about it. Then there's this guy named Data Lake. He's selling three of them, but he's only got like feedback of 72. I wouldn't trust that. And this other guy named Poke Stuffs with a feedback of 55. So like this guy, Poke Stuff, 55 feedback for a $22,000 transaction. I don't know. I just couldn't do it. But these are apparently all first edition. Uh, you want to risk it? I don't want to risk it. He says, I thought it was light. Why open a light pack? Um... Maybe you want to see what's inside. I don't know. There, you can get good pulls in a light pack. You can get Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle. So, and then this guy, he's got a little more. He's got a little more feedback. And this Charizard pack is like mine. It's ungraded. He wants twenty two thousand for it. Jesus. How would we go about if you were to sell? Says Chris Owens. Can you private message? Uh, if we were to sell that pack, you will want to. There would have to be an irreversible transaction that occurs. That's what would, would have to happen, an irreversible transaction, because I can't have somebody open the pack or have me ship it off to them and then try to get their money back. That, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. So I've never done a transaction that large with one individual. Uh, it would probably be like a bank wire transfer. I don't know. And, and then you could watch me open it live. There would be a bunch of evidence of everything we did. And it would, it would be a slow process. <laughs> And honestly, the price of the car, or the price of the booster pack has actually done nothing but move up. So he says, dang, Chris. Check out Best Buy. They're having Black Friday deals. Oh, nice. He just offered 30K. All right, I'm doing it. 30K. <laughs> he says, I'll message you on Discord. You want 30K for that Charizard pack. 
that came from Charles Andrew, by the way. That's a reputable uh, seller, Charles Andrew. So let's go ahead and refresh PayPal. I don't know if anything's happened in the... Oh, right. So we've got another pack to open. What the heck? Can I get that big box of bulk we talked about in two packs of Champions Path sleeves that you have posted in the Discord? Sounds good. Oh, right. The Discord still uses... Uh, the Discord still uses Streamlabs, doesn't it? Okay, we'll figure that out. I got to re <laughs> remove those links. So this is for God King Lunar, I believe, right? God King Lunar. Hold on, let me jump back to PayPal. There it is. This is God King Lunar's pack. Is that right? Oh, here we are. Okay, cool. Let's see what you get, mister. Ah, uh, no luck on that pack. No luck. Need 25 more likes. What the heck? 25 more likes? We've hit the four hour and 30 minute mark. No more transactions, please, everyone. We're not doing any more, okay? Let me jump back and just see who was left. All right, so it looks like we did have one or two. One or two people were left. Let me take care of that. So... Can I get spot 21 in the small for my 21st birthday? You sure can. Here we go. 21st. Happy birthday. That's to... You got... Antonio. He didn't have a nickname, so I'm going with your real name. H. Gonzo. I couldn't finish the whole thing. All right. There you are right there. I hope you win. And then after that, we have Jet69, who wants two rounds of Darkness and Blaze. All right. Would you take that trade for those two two packs? I have a bag and box. Oh, it is tempting, isn't it? Um, I don't know, though, because... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because the cards don't actually feel that rare. But on the other hand, the booster, the booster packs, they aren't necessarily rare. I think I'll hold on to them for now. Maybe I'll toss them into the small to make the small enticing. I appreciate the offer, though. That's really nice. I think it's a, I think it's a fair offer, too, by the way, just, just to let you know. It's just a case that maybe I don't... I'm realizing I don't necessarily need those cards. No, I just want to open something tonight. <laughs> Master! <laughs> did you play for the Falcons? I did. All right, so here we go. Two rounds for Jet 69. Giveaway, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was waiting for you to go live and fell asleep. I'm old. I wanted to get get you that money. No problem, Mister. Um, you didn't know this, but tonight I got a met, I got an email from Streamlabs, and they said, "All right, don't host your business on Streamlabs." So they said that in an email. So we're doing it directly from PayPal at this point. But that's okay. Uh, I don't. I think they'll notice that. They'll probably notice the huge amount of transactions that did not occur tonight. So I'm sure they'll realize that a few stragglers probably missed the message. So they should be fine. I'll just be like, yeah, they, they didn't hear it. They probably expect that. That's normal behavior. Have you ever tried eating a card? No, nah, I'm sure the card's cancerous, man. It's got all kinds of glue and glitter and ink. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Sorry, I forgot to put my nickname. Oh, no problem. All right, here we go. Cheese says, can I buy one CP pack? Cheese, anything for you, Cheese. We got Squovet. Squovet's looking pretty thick. Good luck, Jet. You got White back here. Larvesta. Hollow is very not editable. He's not very editable. I used to use Pokemon cards for my bike when I was a kid to make the sound with the motorbike. I know exactly what you're talking about. Joey says, am I late? It's Joey Joseph uh, Biden up church. Focus. <laughs> um, yeah, you're pretty late. What would you like to do, Joey Joseph? What are you interested in? Maybe if it's just a small thing, I could do it if you if you want. Here's Blaze Keen. Oh, man. 
Joey Joseph Upchurch Focus Biden is only known to cause cancer in the state of California. Daddy ring spin. All right, one daddy ring spin. If you had a Zelle or Cash App, it would be nice. I don't like using PayPal. You know, I think having a single payment gateway, it will make accounting much easier for me, though. It will make it much less complicated. Hey, mister, be careful with PayPal. They can be horrible provider. My friend had a charity stream and raised 20K. PayPal froze his account for unusual behavior. I've been doing this for a whole year with PayPal, actually over a year and a half now, and they've never, never caused me trouble, never frozen my account. So... I think so far I'm good. I will be cautious though. I know PayPal is basically just another corporation and no matter how big I am or how much we do together, they could throw me and toss me to the wind like a leaf if they wanted to. So yeah, I'll keep my eye out and uh, I think I might do the whole upgrade to a business account thing. I might do that. Thanks for the daddy ring spin. There's a dono. <laughs> a dono? Oh, thanks mister. A real dono, huh? Let's see. Wow, that's a huge dono, man. I'm pokey rich. <laughs> was that whole... He got Salamence Blaziken, huh? That was kind of cold. Jet, I'm sorry, mister. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Big T pulled the charge out earlier. Jesus. Mister, what's up, Jesse? Mister. Mister. Definitely upgrade to the business account. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> And then we have, I believe this is from, yes. So he says, can I get that big box of bulk and two packs of Champions Path of Sleeves that you posted in the Discord? That's right. In the Discord, I have a channel called, I think it's called The Card Store. And uh, these are for sale if you guys want them. The thing is, I've got like five bazillion of them laying on the floor. And I, I give them out all the time, by the way, when I do shipping. Uh, it depends on what kind of shipping I do, but there's just actually so many of them that now, if you want to buy them, they're pretty cheap. You get two of them t for 10 bucks. All right, and then Joey Joseph says, thanks for the daddy ring spin. Here's a dono. I think we're caught up. Let me do one more refresh on the PayPal's. Oh, right, cheese is going to make a purchase. Oh, and I feel a sneeze coming on. I hate sneezes, man. They're interrupting everything. Jump back over here. All right, again, no more purchases, guys. We're wrapping up for the night. Uh, we have... Good night, mister. Can I get a place in the small and a champion's path pack? Not a cold one, please. Sorry for a late purchase. PayPal was giving me uh, issues. All right, so I don't know what your nickname is, so I'm just going to go with your real name. Remember, you have to actually tell me your nickname each time you make an order. And that's because I really am that dumb. He says, do you have any of the promos from Chump's Path? I would like to buy one of those too sometime in the future. Yeah, I got a few promos. <laughs> do you even do Fwee packs? I do so many Fwee packs. Fwee! Who's got the Fwee packs? We just gave away a whole box of evolutions yesterday. So let's see. Let's get him into the small. Oh, I see. Nickname, Drew Gonzalez. I don't know if I said that right. I probably did not. Okay. And uh, he wanted, what was it? A pack of Champions Path, but in this case, it needs to be a hot one, huh? And then Cheese, you're right after this. So for Cheese, he doesn't want you to pull the Charizard. <laughs> cheese, wouldn't it be crazy if it, this was it? But it's not. This is going to be Piers and Zygarde. Two cards that show up all the time. Can't believe I missed that. Damn you, bill payments. I want free packs, though. The satisfaction. Free. All right. And then we have cheese. One CP. It's my first time buying cheese. Does the live shipping go out the same day? Uh-huh. Your pack is already packed up, and it's got a label on it. So tomorrow, the mailman will pick it up. Pretty good. We got it done right here in the live stream. Ah, uh, no luck, cheese. Professor's research and Malamar. You know what? To wrap the stream up, I think I need to, to open one more pack for myself. 
one more pack of these hot champions path. Are you ready? She says I cry. So this will be the Charizard. Oops. And then you will all truly cry and wish you had gone even just a pack deeper. <laughs> it's just a hollow Machimp. That's how it be. That's how it do. All right. What's the transition to PayPal pretty smooth? Dude, it was effortless. I thought it was going to be difficult, but it was not. All right. Thank you very much for... Oh, you guys got to go make your guess in the general chat, okay, for the giveaway. And uh, Matt, Macho Main, Macho Main, I'll get your box shipped out, okay? So I know what you ordered. I'll get it shipped out. Yeah, you guys got to go make your... Um, go make your guesses. Did we get to 200 likes? We only got to 181. So there's just going to be a single spot in the medium given up. Fui packs? Last one for me? Fui packs. Ow. So you get one guess. You guess from the general chat of the Discord. Let me jump over there right now. Go make your guess. Go ahead and get into the channel settings, permissions. And this time I really need to remember to open it back up. I got hiccups. Are you using the random number generator from now on? That's a good idea. Oh, yes, I am. That is a good idea. I like the random number generator, too. It's so much easier. <sighs> okay, so we're going to count to 10 and lock it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, it's locked. So let's open up the number gener generator. Random number generator. Hope you got your guessing fast. Now we're going to make our guess. Now we're going to do our uh, thingamabob. Look, there's one of my analytical tools over there. Landed on 32. 32 is the winning number. So the person who got closest to 32 without going over, they're going to be the winner. You can't go over because then you will be disqualified. Well, you weren't disqualified, but, you know, you just didn't win. So it's t uh, Chizzy got 27. Trader Gerard, 28. 28, 28. Any 30s? Cirque Fanatic with 31. I think that's going to be it. <laughs> Cirque Fanatic with 31. That's the win. All right. Cirque Fan. Sweet. He says I had 35. Yeah, but the winning number was 32, so you went over, mister. Mister? He says, come on, man. Just give me the spot. Just give me the free packs, man. Cirque Fan. He's like, I'm pretty close. That's a win. All right. Thank you so much, guys. We'll have, hopefully, a livelier stream tomorrow. Um, I guess the soundboard's gone, though. You know what I mean? The uh, All those terrific sounds of people, like, lining up to order stuff and the just ringing off the hook almost. We're not going to have that wild, exciting noise going off anymore. Uh, and that's too bad. But uh, everything ran like normal. So it's the same stream. We just don't have the robot lady. Nickel says, I do miss the stream, lady. We had a special connection. I know. Just play an old stream for the sounds law. How many spots left in the small and medium? They're both, the well, the small is about halfway done. The medium's maybe a little less than half. All right, I want to thank you all for watching. You're all the loyal loyal viewers here tonight. <laughs> Just 250 tonight, huh? He says, trade me those packs. Well, I think I will be ending. I'll, I'll probably throw them in the small is probably what I'll do. No hearing me, me, me. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Have a nice... Uh, we're coming on the weekend, isn't it? Isn't it Friday? What's this? The sound will never die down. <laughs> Good night and thank you, mister. See you later.